So we'll say hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. We're back again with Cult of the Lamb. They had an expansion, the Unholy Alliance, recently. We're looking to basically just play through the game start to finish again. There's been some improvements and some questionable changes, I would say, to the game itself. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about the game balance itself. So we're going to be spending the first 10 or so minutes just making sure everything is working as is. Uh, we'll let the new intro play, because I did see it play earlier. If not, I'll force the game to play, since it did advertise the new local co-op, which did not exist at the time of our previous playthroughs. Uh, but ultimately, what I'm looking for here is I definitely want feedback from the chat in particular in regards to the Twitch app integration once we get into the actual start of the village. Uh, and aside from that chat, we'll just see where it goes from there. So hopefully things will work. I remember there were some interesting bugs for people that did not see the previous playthroughs, including but not limited to gibberish being shouted at us from the NPCs as things broke. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but... Just, we're rolling the dice, chat. We're rolling the dice. So for whatever reason, the intro doesn't want to play, and I'm okay with that. So yeah, I see options for the DLC. I can also look at the roadmap. I like the little glitchy things. But yeah, we're going to start a brand new playthrough. We're not going to open our previous save file. So wish me luck. Uh, sorry, our other ones. Yeah, one thing that's a little bit awkward about our gameplay is that one of the changes that I will say I will firmly disagree with and don't like is that follower levels are now capped at 10 which I'm pretty sure if you go back to our other playthrough we were at like level 50 plus and we had not put a whole lot of time into the game in general so that I will say is pretty disappointing I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna I'm gonna ease you into it it is definitely a big nerf but anyway just let me know chat if there's any other issues so it looks like i could only have three play slots which is fine quick start lastly bypass introduction and jump right into the game no i want to do it fresh in case people haven't seen it permadeath for ultimate challenge once defeated your save files erased cannot be turned off difficulty cannot be changed honestly i don't know if i'll even die in our playthrough i kind of hope i don't and it's mode experience survival elements of penitent so must eat and sleep to survive cannot be turned off oh that i don't want that, see, there's a difference between, like, Iron Man mode and annoying gimmicks. <laughs> I'm like, I, you know, for people that want to play, like, the Don't Starve style games, I'm going to go with more power to you. I am not one of those players. I will leave it off. So let's let's see if they change anything about the intro, because I'm always curious. And they're always tweaking and touching things. So one thing I'm going to do, and then chat will, I'm sure, inform me as we get closer... Praise the Lamb, Conduit to the Great Power, Promised Liberator, the one who waits below, is that I'll be able to connect basically the moment I can get to the start menu. So right now you should not have any actions. Yet Sacrificial Beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Let's go ahead and connect. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I have some control over the helper hinders now. Yeah, I think everything else was fine as is. Alright, chat can't see it. It pops something up. I'm going to make sure that this is joined. I think I have it already. Okay, so so I have the latest configuration. That's all I wanted to confirm. We're using something called Companion of the Lamb, which is in 2.0 version, and that is what I have installed, so we should be good there. Um, finally, let's go connect with Twitch. Chat can't see it. It's popping up Twitch stuff. Probably for the best, you can't see it. Game is now connected. You may close this window and return. And I'm pretty sure I already installed the Twitch connection, which I did. There we go. So once we get to our first main component, it says I'm signed in now, which is good. Should be good to go. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I don't think anything is too complicated here, so we should be good. Save, co-op, disabled, and intro. Oh, there we go. I was about to ask if it was going to give us the tutorial. <laughs> I was about to ask. 
So as a reminder, chat, active as of right now, you should be able to use new commands uh, to basically fill the totem, which we haven't gotten to in game mechanic sense. Uh, but basically, that'll speed up the gameplay a little bit. And you'll also be able to help and hinder on votes in a little bit once we leave the tutorial. Hence, chat will decide my fate. And most importantly, whenever we come up to a new follower, I can enter a raffle mode. And ideally, you'll be able to pick your correct form. So you could color them, name them to some extent, and do other things. Oh, excuse me, chat. Well, there's, there's, a, see, I remember the other one. This is a new one. Which integration is reach mobile devices? Viewers will now be able to interact with integration on the go. I am really curious about this one because this one did not work at all the last time we played. I remember that was probably the number one complaint when we did our other playthrough. So if that actually works, that's huge because a lot of Twitch users are mobile users. Yeah, like, I don't even have to say, like, 80%, but just, I, like, even even I now basically never use PC Twitch because I'm, I'm on the go where I'm doing other things. So for me, this would be very impactful for me. Additions to existing features include option for viewers to add clothing to their follower as well as new helper hinder choices. Yeah, so you should have more options in general. Oh, oh, oh excuse me, chat. Oh, excuse me. So, so that went a little further than when we were last time because we saw that original one, I'm pretty sure. Twitch integration improvements. We improved overall health and flow of Twitch integration. Now play Knuckle Bones against Twitch chat. Build Knuckle Bones table or head to Rato's Shack to play. Okay, well, I, I don't know how much I really want to play Knuckle Bones against you, but I guess we can. Just, we'll, we'll do it in the future. That's not relevant right now. Okay, there we go. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to do classic lamb things. Do a quick spin and continue onwards. Competitive knuckle bone tournament. Oh no. Yeah, I was gonna say for people that haven't seen the game before, that means nothing. But uh, yeah, Let's see where it goes. I assume. Kneel to be sacrificed. What a great option. <laughs> Hold X to die. <laughs> right, chat. Hey, we're gonna be friends with you, right? Right? Aren't we just buddies? Oh well, we see what will presumably be the four bosses. I don't think that will change. <laughs> Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to blade. With this sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. So we have like the classic see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, then think no evil, I guess is the fourth one. Classic symbolism there. Oh, for, for those that know, Chad, for all of the named characters we should be able to get later, I'll, I'll avoid spoilers for that. We should not get locked out of them like we were in the previous playthrough, but we'll see. One who waits says, come closer. Fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. Taste no evil, there you go. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Oh boy, Chowder, first choice. Yes, sir, absolutely. I'm going to say absolutely. Yeah. Wise choice. Take the red crown from uh, which I once wore. With it, you shall command the loyalty of followers and strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. <laughs> I was going to say, I had quite a choice there. Return to the land of the living. Start a cult in my name and begin recruiting followers. Once you have done so, you will see me again. Now go! I don't think anything here has changed. We still have the classic dodge roll into attack. 
So this is your normal attack. This is dodge roll and attack. For those that haven't seen it before, basically if you are familiar with Soten, where you roll your fingers from dash to attack, you can end up with a kind of like a lunge strike. Most importantly, if you press them together like this, you could repeat the final hit of your combo, which is super, 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 super important to know, because that makes certain weapons very, very broken, as most third hits are finishers. So ideally, I want to time it so that I just do this repeatedly. So with a good rhythm, I could just do that over and over. That's what the dodge roll looks like normally. It goes pretty far. Give me a second to warm up. We'll practice. And ideally, we want to cut down as much as we can to collect items. We'll tumble our way out of here. So right now, we don't have a lot of choices. We know that sword will generally mean that we'll be fighting. You no, know, the kneeling person will be a follower. Question mark usually designates a special event. Right now, we're in tutorial land, so it's a very straightforward path. Oh, there we go, Chad. It's Rat Ratu. This is the Reaper's power. Fear not. I am Ratu. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. <laughs> Chat will beat me in knuckle bone later. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Which path leads us to Sisyphus and Boldy? Well, we could be ignored by we could be ignored by Patrick Lee's. <laughs> that, that's our other option. I guess I'll kill the birds. I don't think it matters. So I think because it's tutorial, we're also not really getting items, which makes me a little sad. But generally speaking, we'll want to cut down everything to collect grass or wood or whatever for construction. Wow, a single gold coin. Don't don't spoil me with that. Ooh. Hot rewards, chat. Hmm. So it seems like we have more overall crown abilities, which was not really a thing when we first played. We still have the classic fleece, which will provide a modifier to the game. Uh, not as impressive as you think it is. It's not going to be like defense. It's usually just like you deal double damage, but take half, or you can't do this, but get that. It's more like a game modifier. Dracolita says I'm rich, something like that. Welcome. Uh, curses are going to be our magic spells. Relics will be kind of like a... Kind of like a cooldown base or something we can recharge. Okay, we don't have to worry about tarot cards yet. Let me know, chat, if anything needs adjustment. Because I could just quickly reset once we get a little further. And chat will be more than welcome to create their own characters once we go through the tutorial. So far, it doesn't seem like they changed it much. I'm noticing at the moment, I don't seem to have a heavy attack. So it could just be a tutorial thing. Or it might be something we unlock. Honestly, I don't remember. That was something that was not in the base game originally. Anyway, for the most part, I could do whatever I want. I'm not even sure how much they can hit you or even kill you. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just hold still at one point. I'm assuming they can hit you. But unfortunately, with our dodge roll attack, we are lunging super far. So by the time they normally react to us, we're already going to be striking. I will break these out of habit, not that I need anything here. Ooh, more coins, chat. Let's go get our first follower. As a reminder, since we are playing the Twitch integration, you should now be able to do it on mobile phones as well as PC. But also, just because the species is a cow or is a spider or is any other thing, you could still make it into whatever I have unlocked. Just be warned that we will not have like a ton of ton of choices. It's something you're meant to just kind of unlock over time. Hold on, chat. We gotta rescue them. They would have no choice but to join your new cult. 
O oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Answers me. Nice and easy. Hello, Cal. You have been rescued. And or enslaved. I guess it just depends on how evil the cult becomes. Follower awaits indoctrination. So they'll be waiting at a little portal, which we'll see in just a little bit. Let's go to the final event of the tutorial. We have reached safety. You have done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There will be... Oh, there you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right, so let's... Oh, I love the bloody eye. Nice. Nice, nice imagery there. Red eye burning. Oh, there you go, chat. Look, I got the no damage bonus. Uh, hopefully we'll see a few of those in the playthrough, aside from the tutorial. Please select a difficulty. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really see... I don't have a desire to play on hard mode. I'm just going to leave it at medium. I think easy is kind of whatever. Listen, we got to keep it like a little challenging. Like we know the final bosses are potentially hard depending what the changes are. But the rest of the game should be straightforward. I don't want it to be like a grind fest with extra hard or something. Not interested in that. This hollowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We <laughs> I forget how long you talk sometimes. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. The light in the world and Dr. Adenu follower. Should be able to save now, right? Yes. Okay, we can see co-op mode is new. So for people looking to do local co-op, I think that was an excellent addition to the game. So shout out to them. Go extra hard? Nah, no thank you. No interest in that whatsoever. Let's indoctrinate. Convert me to your cult and I will follow your teachings faithfully. Okay, so let's have... Interesting, I can randomize them. Let's do a follower raffle. Let me know, chat, if you're able to uh, join in. We're going to go ahead and start the raffle. So we'll close it in about a minute, because I know there's a bit of a stream delay. Not seeing the raffle. Interesting. Let me check. It could be a problem on my side, not the game side. Let me go ahead and cancel out. Oh, well, let me cancel out. That's fine. Let me minimize for a second. It's possible I hit the extension. Give me one second. Okay, it should now be active. So if you have access to Twitch, just double check. I think I updated it. I just didn't assign it an overlay. So that is a streamer problem. So just give it a good old refresh and we'll try again.
So you should get a little prompt on mobile as well as PC. I'll even check it out on my thing. I'm curious if it works on the Twitch app. I'm seeing it. Oh, there we go. That's a good sign. I'm not sure I see it in the Twitch mobile device. But just let me know, chat, if you're able to access it. I'm just curious, too. Because they said allegedly it's there. It'd still be like one of those weird things where you have to technically log in with a... Uh, like a mobile browser versus the Twitch app. So somebody's able to join. That's a good sign. We'll give it a little more time. The overlay is there, but the contribute to totem cult joining aren't. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now it is. <laughs> I was going to say, it probably just took some time to boot in because I just enabled it. So I think we'll end the raffle then. Sorry about that, chat. The overlay was disabled. It, it was installed properly to the updated version, but it was not enabled. So let's let's see who wins on the raffle. I think we wasted enough time there. Oh, looks like Draculina has won the raffle. And I guess they auto already created the character. One thing I think they said ahead of time is that when you enter the raffle, you can make your character. I think that does save a lot of time, I will say. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Natural skeptic on recruiting follower. Immediately lose 10 faith. Oh, okay. It's kind of rough. Yeah, that, that's also a really good change. Because before we would have to wait. And we could see you making the selections in real time. But definitely much better to just do it there. That's good. Welcome, Jack and Lena. I will tell you to chop trees. Yeah, I think chat might also not have access to the totem because I, I, I just don't have it yet. <laughs> I think it's also part of the thing. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. So we're getting there slowly. I'll also chop down some trees since I'm here. Only got one stone from that, that could have sucked. Ah, oh, that's gonna take too long. Can I just do this? Perfect. So the cooking fire I usually leave kind of near the beginning. I usually put it on the left side, but I guess I could put it on the right side. I don't know if it really matters. Like, I want it to be something I could really easily access. You know what? I'm always, I'm always used to putting it on the left. Let, let's be contrarian today and put it on the right. Followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. Hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left. When it gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food by crusading. Pick routes that will pass through foraging locations. Plant farms are growing your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found while it's crusading. Fair enough. Collect berry. So once we get out of this kind of intro area, we should be getting a lot more characters. So do not worry, chat. Probably within the next 20, we'll get like two or three. Build a shrine. 
But first we need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so he may be freed. Yeah, I'm thinking, chat, like, we need to revisit the church pretty often. I'm probably going to put it maybe on the left to make it inverse of what we normally do. So I might clear out that area a bit more. It has to be something I can very easily get to. I don't want it in, like, the corners, since we're going to be going there super often. Now go. There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. Okay. Dungeon select has been enabled. Okay, so I think originally it kind of wants us to mine over there. As I said before, I might just have them kind of clear this area out a little more. I'm going to take care of this just to save some time later. But right now, we have basically everything locked, so let's proceed for now. So I should be going to the left. There we go. So right now, we don't have anybody to interact with, but I can read this. Here, godly blood was spilled. Here, death no longer wished to wait. <laughs> yeah, willing in quotes. Oh, won't let me do anything with the spiders. We could catch the spiders when we're in the other area. Right now, I don't think we could do anything. So we need one worshiper in order to open the dungeon door. We'll be recruiting pretty consistently throughout the game, so... By the time we finish this first dungeon, we should be around four or so. Go into the dark wood, chat. One thing I saw that I wasn't sure about... I saw that I think you could choose your own weapon at the start. And I'm not sure if that's like a setting option or not. I check that real quick. Oh, inverted aim? No. Just double checking chat to see if something's in here. Okay, so, ooh, interesting. So you can actually choose to stop time on a crusade. Oh, that's actually huge. Wait, I could just toggle unlimited HP. Oh, all right, chat, listen. <laughs> that That's a little too cheaty even for me. Oh, my, oh, okay. Okay. I don't see a problem with, like, auto-cook. I can understand stop time on Crusade because of the standpoint that if you want to do the longer dungeons, you find yourself kind of balancing whether or not you can actually do them. Not from a difficulty standpoint, but your followers just not being able to cook enough and they just die, which can get annoying. But I'd rather time pass here. We're, we'll, we'll leave it on defaults for now. Also, I could turn on dark mode. I don't think there's anything else I really want in here. What's the difference with this? No, not my preference. So yeah, so I guess if you're really struggling, you could do it. I mean, it'd be like, I'm gonna do ult, ult extra hard mode with infinite health. <laughs> like, okay. So it's there, I guess. Wait, there's a run button? I mean, I'm just going to tell it to always run. I, I was going to say, I honestly don't remember there being a run button at all in this game. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, when you look at the controls, it's not here, right? Heavy attack, which is RB. Oh, it's the other button. Oh, that's why I pressed the wrong button. Release curse. Yeah, there's just... Okay. Weird. Let's see how fast that makes me. I don't really feel all that different. I could do that for chat, though. Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshley. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Oops. I actually just wanted to attack the, the dummy. I got meat from hitting the dummy. Do 
So we, we got the sword again. There are quite a few weapon types. Yeah, <laughs> dummy in quotes. And yeah, maybe it's a, implying there was a body inside or something. Anyway, you want to look at the transitions between the hallways. So for example, I know if I go right, this will be a shop. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I'm always draw I've always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first time. It's true, first time in this playthrough. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. Okay. So... Essentially, the way it kind of works is... I can get multiple choices. Some of them related to damage. These two happen to be related to hearts. I guess I'll get an extra normal heart. I don't really care, honestly. And this will only last the dungeon. The difference between the blue heart and the normal heart is that once a blue heart is gone, it's gone forever. But if a red heart is taken, I can fill it up later if I find healing. That's the main difference between them. And usually you'll get more blue hearts than red hearts. So like, for example, I got a half heart there instead of a full heart. Your deck decides your fate. You may find more upon your crusades, and I will draw from them. Look upon it now. So now we're going to unlock more choices. Depending on what side quests I do, we'll get more options of things that could be drawn from the tarot cards. Some of these being kind of terrible. Like, Gift from Below is actually really good. Rapid's Foot is decent. Death's Door, kind of useless. I don't plan on taking damage. Fortune Blessing is okay. Divine Curse can be good. Shield of Faith is good. Double Fervor is sometimes good. The Master of the Art is the thing we want the most. Anything that buffs our weapon damage or attack speed. If we could get both of those, we're basically in business. Deals poison damage to enemy struck. That one's not bad. Damages everything on screen when hit. That one's not bad. Reveal the map. That one's situational. 10% chance to deal critical. That's always good. And we already saw the other two. So like Binding of Isaac? Kind of, yeah. So most of the dungeons are on the shorter side, so basically I'm going to go through, I don't know, let's say six rooms before I get a break and I could go back to town. Some of the later dungeons will require me to go through more rooms. I will generally full clear rather than just go for an exit. And generally speaking, there's a boss every four floors that we clear. Your cards have been drawn. The path lays ahead, lies ahead. One thing... If we ever want to see these other kinds of options, we could go here. We're eventually going to get options to use our gold coins to influence the run, but we're still pretty early in the game, so it's not really going to give us that now. But as I said before, smack everything, since you will generally get something out of it. So I just got meat, for example, so I could get some easy meals later if I want to. And generally, there's no reason to not do it while moving, at least, because doing this is not that much slower than just walking. Oh, we're about to get cutscene. How can this be? You were put to the blade, Lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown is power. Could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. I like our eye closes with an X on the crown. Okay, so I don't have an idea of what's left or right. Both of them look like combat rooms. I'm gonna go left first.
Yeah, Sword doesn't really have a great third hit combo. So me nailing the dodge roll stuff where I do that repeatedly, like the single strike. Like, when I do it right, it just loops it over and over. But I gotta do it within a certain timing of each other. So as long as I just keep doing it, he'll keep doing that attack over and over. But if I mess up the rhythm to it, he'll he'll go back to his normal combo. I don't have to set up the combo ahead of time, but it is faster to do that than dodge roll. So for example, I could do one, two, three, and then dodge roll if I want to, but it's faster to just do it while holding still and then cancel it with the dodge. There's like little combat tech you could do to kind of improve it. I I'm not going to claim to be an expert at it, but just figure out I'd mention for people looking for depth in the game. Also, that reminds me. Yeah, we don't have heavy attack unlocked yet. I just tried pressing the button. I couldn't remember if that was a default behavior or not. These enemies are pretty simple. It's not super hard to avoid getting hit. Pay attention to them. And generally speaking, as I said before, you could kind of do lunge strikes. Some enemies will react to being hit, some won't. So I'm just used to kind of like hit and run strategies with the other weapons. Now we have a lot of lumber without needing to farm anything in particular. We should get bones, which are needed for rituals later. The so bones are one of the things you should break every single time you see them. If they could give you some, that's the difference between getting like a lot of money or improvements. And I cannot stress how important it is to pick those up if they're available. So we made it to the end. So completing a dungeon itself will result in us getting more blueprints. It looks like we got a uh decoration yeah we got a decoration some people care about decorations for happiness uh otherwise i generally won't build them i kind of wish it was more like the sims where expensive decorations had more of an impact but it's usually very simple just like if if decoration exists, happy. It's like it's not like the the, the craziest thing ever. So I saw a food icon, so this is a chance to get a lot of berries. I can slice these rather than do anything here. We're getting seeds for farming later, which is nice. Interesting little house here. I don't remember this thing being here before. Or if that's a new background piece. Anyway, we have a lot of food, so we should be able to make. A lot of meals, even though we have no farms currently. Let's go fight a mini boss. Or at least clear the dungeon. We saw grass before can be used to build things. It can also make a makeshift meal. So I could, for example, make my characters vegan. So that way I could feed them grass meals with no repercussions. And since grass is so easy to get in this game, it just ends up being a way, if you don't feel like doing the management sim portion of the game, uh, I would recommend going for that pretty early on. There we go. More meat, which is good. More complex meals actually do reward you. They give you potentially beneficial effects other than feeding your followers. So we can make them more devout. We might be able to cure them of illness. We might be able to extend their life. It all just depends. Well, that was a bad dodge. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. We think I just got my first upgrade. The same sword, but it does 1.3 instead of 1. Okay. What I could do with the other one is I could recycle it. Make sure to always recycle if you're playing early to get that extra gold. Later on, it matters a little less since you could get gold easier ways. But since we're so early in the game, we might as well junk the item. Uh, I don't really care about healing. I haven't been hit at all, chat. I'm just going to get crit damage. I saw a squirrel. I'm going to murder the squirrel. Might have gotten away, sadly. Yeah, I think I got away. Unfortunate. <laughs> I wanted meat chat. Oh, 
for right now. I think it's going fine. We keep finding hearts to heal, but I'll be fine. Ooh, extra meat. That's a lot of meat, actually. Probably make like five or six meals from that. Any boss time. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I don't know, chat. Will you do anything? Amducia says, I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Okay. What mini boss are we fighting? Uh, Mr. Ugly. Easy mini boss. Wreck them, chat. Time to convert them. Please, spare me. Ah, oh, yes, you will be remade in chat's image. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Yeah, so every mini boss we fight also unlocks a form. So if you want to look like that, we have unlocked that now, officially. There you go. In the portal you go. So that was a flawless victory, nice and simple. I could choose my reward here. Uh, I don't really care about farming or stone, so let's get a blueprint. Wired farm plot sign. Organize your farm with this handy signpost. Okay. One more decoration down. Flat resources don't interest me generally. Although all that gold helped. That I care about. You can see a door divided into four quadrants. Quadrant one complete. Return to our cult. So I should get a bonus, because I took no damage the entire run. So you'll see my gold get multiplied. Yeah, look at that. So because I picked up all those other items, like the meat, the grass, and the wood, that too got a 50% bonus. Which, early on, that's kind of huge. <laughs> right, chat? Like, instead of just getting, like, 40 coins, I'm getting 61. So that's potentially a whole new building upgrade for me, just because I spent a little extra time mowing things down. So I have 27 berries, which is like somebody farming for like an hour or more. And we have enough seeds to start a farm later, which is good. So good start. So we should get more building unlocks very soon. I'm relieved to see you made it safely, and you have not returned alone. You've convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Okay. Let's see. This character has materialistic, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters, and naturally obedient. On recruiting follower, immediately gain 10 faith. I love that there's the little lamb for obedient. Let's go ahead and open a raffle. So as I said before, it should be available on PC and mobile. Might take a wow, that was near instant. Chat was on it. That's a good sign. I know there's a little bit of a stream delay, so I'll give just a little bit more time. I want to make it fair for people that haven't seen it yet. So enjoy making your character, I suppose. So we'll give a few more seconds and we'll get started again. Okay, I think that was a fair enough time since we already have participants. Let's go ahead and add in the raffle. Ah, uh, Chris has become Blue Fox, I think. Welcome, Chris. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Definitely not plotting evil things and planning to kill other people. Here we go. I'm gonna tell Chris to mine the stone, so we have two different jobs being completed. Followers will either work or worship. 
Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you will require a shrine. I should be able to make it now. Here we go, Chad. Now you should start getting new Twitch options once this is once this is built. Oh, Chris is coming over for the assist. Nice. I like the Twitch icon above it, so Chad can donate to the totem if they want now. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them a worship at the shrine. Oh, hey, look at that. See that? Everybody got birth. Got somebody in. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. There we go. So, if somebody did not get in before, let's indoctrinate. A greeno, the normal colored fox, says convert me to your cult, blah blah blah. What do they come with? Gullible, easier to level up. Germaphobe, lose faith when falling ill. Hmm. Germaphobe's kind of brutal, but leveling could be interesting. Let's go back into the follower raffle. Let chat choose again. Well, that, that was near instant. <laughs> Somebody was like, I'm ready. <laughs> I, just, I just had to wait for the participation. So we'll give just a little bit more time, but it looks like a, pretty much a shoe in at this point. So fortunately, at least the process overall goes pretty quick, so I don't think I'm really going to edit that out of the YouTube video. We'll just give a few more seconds here. To be courteous of the stream delay. But I think we are now good to go. So let's go ahead and end the raffle. Remote battery. <laughs> Made the ugly character, I <laughs> think he said earlier. But nice. You become that mini boss. Ugly is in. There we go. Remote battery will now start worshipping the shrine. Or the totem, excuse me. Collect devotion from your shine. Once you collect enough, you unlock divine inspiration. Think of this as like a technology tree, Chad. I need to have enough divine inspiration to level up into new uh, buildings and such. The more followers worshipping your shrine, the faster it will fill up. The shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it's empty. Once you've collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. I can speak to remote battery. I can tell him to eat or sleep, but I can't really help him with either of those at the moment. And so it begins. So temple will be one of the first things we unlock. I'm looking to see if they really change this at all. Sleeping bag, I think, is important to get. I'm more willing to do that over farm. Generally speaking, I almost never bothered with the entire left-hand side of the, the tree. So pretty much anything related to the crypt and the morgue, I'm going to ignore. The prison, I don't care about. Um, Ritual cooldowns and cheaper rituals is huge. I'm interested in that side of the tree. For combat purposes, Demonic Circle is a way you can improve yourself in the normal runs. So eventually I want to do those. And the others I don't super care about. So those are probably the ones I'm going to be lined for. Like, I'm not going to use Scarecrow, Harvest Totem. I might use Compost and Fertilizer Silo, but they're not like a rush. RJ Chaos was saying, oh, I was thinking about trying this game. I think it's decent. I'm not sure how I feel about all the updates on the latest patch, but it, it's fine for what it is. So what I need to do before we leave... Also, I'm noticing there's no sleep gauge, so we're so early in the game that I think you your characters never fall asleep, which is interesting. There we go, I took that one inspiration. And now I've unlocked a temple. Welcome, Kirk. Well, we gotta place one of the most important buildings in the game. I wanna make sure I can put it somewhere where I can actually reach it. Let me know, chat, if you're able to fill up the totems now. Never fall asleep, hey, my character is accurate. Oof. It costs 15 logs and three more stone. I will just go collect this if this is not here already. I do not wanna leave without doing this.
think they will also yeah i was gonna say i think they also put it away in the, the red chamber there still not seeing the totem options yeah they, they should be in the normal chat if they're not i'll just adjust it in a moment It was something I turned on, like, literally right before the stream. It's probably just being finicky. There's no problem. Let's go ahead and put the temple down. So temple is going to be one of those things I have to come back to over and over and over again. I think I'm actually just going to leave it, like, right here for now. Well, I don't want it blocking the red box. Hmm. The problem is the, the problem is the temple is so tall. I guess I could leave it here for now. I want to make sure I could see the red box. Be fine. Here we go. Chris is coming over. Okay, let me check one thing with our settings. temple is the center of your cult. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Okay, so I think I'm unlocking faith for the first time. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you're their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. One second chat as I check something. Oh, I see what happened. When I installed the uh, mod again, it disabled it for some reason. You should be seeing it momentarily. What is the lowest I could get this to cost? I'm just curious. Oh, I can make this super cheap. Wait, how, wait, how low can I make it? I can make it one? <laughs> Why not, chat? There you go. It should be easy to spam now. <laughs> I don't know if there's a cooldown. I think we talked about this before. Yeah, there's no cooldown, apparently. Chat could just go wild if they want to. I can even turn off the one for the the, the the gathering. I'll probably put a cooldown on the chat messages to like one a minute. I think that's fair. There we go. So we just need a couple more worship points and we should be good to go. Raise the Twitch chat. Yeah, there we go. Now, now if you type messages, your character should come over. Let's use the sermon. There we go. Faith. Strength through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you go stronger. Forming sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Also, with higher loyalty, it will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have, the more loyal they are. Riku, you will gain new abilities. Alright, so. We talked about this last time. One of the things I really did not like, I don't like that it forces me to get from both sides of the tree. So what do I mean by that? I feel like most... Oh, is that new? I don't remember that. Most of these upgrades are not great. I'm going to be honest with you. There's like one or two that are... Like, you obviously want to get more health and more damage. Like, that's straightforward. You know, you want to get those. Mastery is also kind of good to get. But from the standpoint of, like, normal things, I don't really want to get, like, occultist curses. Because I just don't think they're as good as some of the other ones. So, unfortunately, we're still going to have to make similar choices. Okay, I get more health permanently. Not that I've been hit yet, but I guess in the future it might matter. So, still a little unfortunate there. There we go. Faith has been restored. Oops. 
You were amazing to behold. A natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out the commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Yeah, we'll be... Uh, I don't know for this run what we'll end up doing. I'm imagining we're going to unlock sacrifice pretty early. I think having our followers not scared of death is important because we will probably go on a great purge at some point. I don't believe in the prison route where you could basically put people in the, the like the pillory or whatever in the stocks so that they can't do anything. It's funny, but I just don't think it's as good as the other options. Unfortunately. Oh, hey, the day night cycle got restored. Look at Chris's character go. He's just so happy doing Chris things. Yeah, I haven't even unlocked beds or anything yet, so we got to get way further. But you can see I have a lot of different things here. Oh, there's an edit building button. Oh, for like deleting and moving. Yeah, that's fair. So if I don't like where this is, I could just move this later. I almost forgot that was a mechanic, to be honest with you. But you know what I didn't forget? We have a lot to go get some berries. Yeah, like, see how because I have meat, they have a chance of dropping valuable resources. We'll save that for now. I'm going to make three berry meals and cook them for our followers. I could eat the meals to myself stats, but I don't eat it, to be honest with you. I'll gather this for later, though. They'll eat it when they're hungry. I almost got another upgrade while I was waiting. I don't think this says anything new. Not really. Okay, so for chat looking to make their characters, we're going to hopefully pick up at least one follower every, every floor. Just because many bosses... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, chat. That's a weapon. Remember this weapon? Remember how dumb this was when I spammed the dash cancel? Oh, it's so good. So basically, this does 2.4 times the damage of sword, and it attacks just as quick when you do this. So despite it saying speed is slow, it's kind of not. So I could do this repeatedly. Look at this. This is broken. Love Axe so much. It's awkward, but man oh man when you get it going. It's just so fast. Yeah, so sadly, if, if you know that trick, sword is kind of bad in this game. Because it is the least impressive thing that you could do. Alright, let's get it. Hopefully this is weapon damage up. 10% chance of negating. Um, You know what? We're probably going to go on a killing spree. I think this matters more than negating damage. If it's between those two cards. But yeah, we basically have, like, a small delay compared to Sword. But you can see, like, I'm still rapidly swinging for basically full damage. Like, you can see normally it goes that slow, but I could do this repeatedly. So unfair. Praise be to the axe spin speed. Call me the lawnmower. Spin, spin, chat. So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies, and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again. You can see they have a green crown. But what an unworthy bear it has. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, our first projectile list. Splat. Yeah, the fact that we're just legit one-touching them shows, like, how much stronger this is compared to Sword. So unfair how good this weapon is. It scales so strongly on crit. So one crit... I think crits do double damage. So one crit from this is like four sword swings and we attack as fast as a sword. So ideally we'll get a damage multiplier or crit up. I'm glad I found you. 
bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. There we go. Just bleeding from the eyes. Just casual, normal things. Well, did we get our first curse? Okay. We have unlimited while we're here. Why won't it let me swing an attack? Oh, tutorial, maybe. Enemies you slay will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Okay, fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition for curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refuels your curses. You also get it from chests, as we saw earlier. But anyway, um, depending on the curse, I'll use it. But this curse, probably not. Unless I'm looking to snipe something. Like, if I see an enemy reeling back and I'm full screen, I could just shoot it. Also, I love that I got bonus health at some point due to the 10% kill. So unfair. And you can see with like just a small axe upgrade, I would have been one-shotting the other thing and saving a lot of time. But even right now, we're still pretty much one-shotting. Yeah, the downside of this attack is I don't dodge as far. But can lead to some unsafe moments. I see it's become nighttime. Ooh, a tarot card. Oh. I'm not I'm not that excited about that. Listen, chat, we have axe. I'm like, I just want the weapon multipliers. There are some really good curses. I forget which one unlocks it, but the dog, the dog pack one. Remember how busted that was in the original version of Call of the Lamb? Like, I remember legit using it and it one shot a mini boss. Like, or, no, it did like 90% of their health with one use, and the second you just killed them instantly. So, hopefully, we can see that nonsense on stream, but I, I think they've since very much nerfed it. Okay, so our choices are wood, house, and then an additional battle or another follower. Since Chad is here, let's go get another follower. I will get less resources to multiply, which is a shame. We refuse to convert, so they killed everyone. Please take me with you. There you go, free follower for chat. You can see, like, this is still pretty fast. So I guess the plus side to sword is it goes a little further with the dash cancels, where I'm hitting dash and attack. As I said before, this is your normal swings holding a direction. This is your normal roll. This is what happens when you combine them. You get that nice little lunge. So I was going to say, RJ Chaos would love the Soten style inputs, where shield dashing is literally how you attack in this game. So that thing had devotion, so I could basically get some guaranteed unlocks now. Kinda nice. Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. Also, it looks like I'm gonna get a doctrine here if I'm allowed all three. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left. Mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured, and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds. Now... There we go. So, I need to remember the doctrines. So there's one doctrine I want to get fairly early on, and then there's a couple that I kind of want to route my way towards. So for those that don't remember or haven't seen it from last time, there's an early one we can pick up to uh, essentially improve productivity, or I could do the one where I could just believe in sacrifice. So we'll eventually need to go, I think, to the afterlife tree, but that's one that I don't feel like rushing right away. So I think it was under work and worship. We can choose to get faster devotion for more unlocks, which is good for short term, or just give permanent work speed up, which is better for like late game. 
Mammoth stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine whenever you form a new commandment stone. So yeah, we'll probably go for the work and worship early. And then after that, we might do a couple ritually ones. There's one that really breaks the game. Uh, and I think they've nerfed it since we played. But the ability to get money from your followers through a ritual was like hilariously dumb. Like we, like we would get a total of like, it, what the heck? We get like a total of like 50 coins through like other actions and then we do the ritual and it legit give you like hundreds. I think that was a new gimmick that was added in the last playthrough where some rooms have extra hazards. Things like rivers were also added to make the stages a bit more varied in the beginning area. So that's something that was not in the base game originally. Tell me Lamb, do you believe destiny is immutable? I don't know, will you give me damage up? Chad, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I don't know how to express it other than, well, what a series of options I am not excited for. <laughs> it's like, damage, damage. I need damage. I don't care about health. Listen. But like, we're fine. We'll, we'll be fine. I promise. Yeah, the other one that's also potentially good is to uh, go towards a doctrine that makes them uh, veggie eaters. So we have a mix of things that could kind of play with their moods and stats, and some that are just for productivity. He's just by himself. Oh, flame shot increase. I don't care about that. We haven't used that at all yet, right, chat? Like, that's not relevant. Well, looks like potential boss time. There's Valfir. Oh, I rolled into it. That was dumb. I forgot to cancel my dodge. My bad, chat. Now that it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna wail on him. Get back here. Oh, well. It is kind of scary that I could literally clear like half of the arena in one roll if you don't cancel it. Do you see what I mean? It goes very deceptively far. So I was like, oh, I'll just not hold the roll button. And I'm like, oh, wait, even if, even if you tap it, you go hilariously far. <laughs> like that that's like like a frame one input, like just one frame input. That's how far you go. It's a little, a little silly. Oh, we acquired a new form. That like a... Scottish Terrier or something? Is that what that was? Perfect mayhem! Oh, welcome Diego. Hope you're doing well. Welcome Raiders. We just started our Cult of the Lamb run. You're wide open! Thank you, Farinice, for the follow. So sadly I took damage on the end. It's a no bonus goal for me. You're wide open! Thank you, JJ Persona, for following. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So anyway, chat, we got new followers, and you know what that means. We're gonna come up to another raffle, so if you'd like to create a character in this game, the app should work on mobile and PC. You will be inserted into the game. Let's start with these characters. So they may start off as a specific character species or color, but you could change all that by joining in. We have Margaret here, whose ability is... Harder to level. You know what? We like a challenge character. Let's go to the follower raffle. So they're looking to hop in. If you create your little character, uh, you should be able to change their outfit to some extent. I don't have a ton of species unlocked since we're pretty early in. But for people looking to make a character, we'll give a courtesy 30 seconds or so. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully Diego, your games went well.
Raffle in progress. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're still pretty early in the game, so we don't, like, have a ton of ton of forms yet. So it's okay to hold off a little bit. But otherwise, if you see your pick, definitely go for it. Since we are literally, what, three levels into the game? Uh-oh, I don't see any takers on the raffle. Hopefully that is working fine. I know Chris got his own character earlier. I'm sure he's happy about that. Oh, we got somebody in. We'll give a, a courtesy another 20 seconds or so. But I think from the standpoint of the game itself, uh, so far I'm not feeling a big difference from the last time we played, but I think some of the changes are more meant for the end game. But welcome in chat. If you want to talk about anything, I love to read chat as I play. I actually feel bad when I don't comment about stuff I see in the chat. I was like, I was too focused. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. We we can walk and talk. We can do it. I promise. Okay, I think we'll end the raffle. I don't see anybody else hopping in. Oh, there you go. JJ Persona has won the raffle. Congratulations, JJ Persona. Now you're permanently there. We'll see how long we can keep you alive. Um, Let's have you worship. Mm. Thank you, Drew Muller, for following. Hopefully you're doing well. Let's go ahead and get sleeping bags. We should probably sleep at some point. Just can't have them working the fields forever. Hmm. I think I saw chat contributing to the totem, but I don't see it actually contributing to the totem. I wonder if there's something a little buggy with that. Because I believe I saw chat enter that in the Twitch commands earlier. Yeah, I don't care about these. Do need some beds, though. I think I just usually put the beds, like, over here somewhere. So for now, we'll put one bed per follower. Should be good enough for now. Out of power, yeah. I noticed it has an ha ask for a helper hinder, so we might reset it a little later. So apologies if the Twitch integration's being a little kludgy. I'm gonna help them build the bed so that way they can have their faith restored. Oh, I almost thought Chris was immediately going to sleep. <laughs> have bed will sleep. Okay, so we should have unlocked a doctrine because we picked up enough stones earlier. Oh, what's that? Play as the lamb's wicked counterpart provides no bonuses. Oh, you can play as a goat. Interesting. Once per crusade, eat a meal to get a heart. I killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. I don't think we need any of these. I don't think we do. <laughs> Chat spamming it. So we'll see. If it doesn't do it, I'll, I'll just reset it. Oh, so I can actually see how much they're adding individually now. That's interesting. Uh, I probably want Bane weapons, to be honest. Yeah, I don't care about curses. Let's get a uh, free poison on weapons. Okay, we're gonna have Cult of the Goat now. That's new. That was not there in our previous playthrough. Okay, so let's go ahead and, I guess, do a doctrine. Well, we're we're testing what. Oh, oh, it just oh, it just immediately picked it. Okay, we don't have to worry about that right now. I was gonna say this is gonna be a game of test my short or my long term memory of what we did last time. Let's go ahead and unlock bonfire rituals. Okay, I don't need to do anything with that yet. But now if I want to, I can use some bones in order to rebuild faith. Right now, not needed. I think we're doing fine. Reaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep your faith high. 
the bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. You said that up, one barrel. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Tremolar says evil rat, that's me. Nice. Return to the lands of the old faith. Gather bones from fallen enemies. Recruit more followers. Return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Alright, so it's possible we're just in tutorial land, so it's not going to let us do certain things. Okay, so perform rituals in the temple. They are usually raise faith or help you solve problems in the cult. Rituals require bones of fallen enemies. If you're slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather the bones and use them to perform dark rituals. Yeah, we're probably going to end up offing some people. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just like, the chat will probably demand sacrifice at some point. Oh, hold on. We have our first quest. Yeah, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Sickness. Unsanitary conditions your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If follower becomes sick, assign them a bed rest so they could die. This thing will allow them to recover. Who vomit and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Yeah, I don't see it in... Because I, I see chat using it, but I don't see it going up there, which is a bit of a shame. So I think what I'll do, I'll reset the game in just a moment to see if it fixes the integration. Because clearly chat's able to do uh, voting and stuff like that, so it could just be being finicky. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what we just got. We put it away though. I killed the spider. Need to kill a couple of these at some point. Didn't catch the other thing, sadly. see where the other thing was that I had to collect. I want to do that before we progress. There's one more thing I got to clean up, but I don't see it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Nope, that didn't count. I feel like I'm blind. Where is this last thing I got to clean up? <laughs> I don't want to fail a quest because I ignore it. I will take these berries, though. Maybe it was an upgrade for the cleanup? I just don't know where the other one is. Like, I just don't see it. Hmm. On the plus side, I did unlock something new. Let's unlock a uh, farm plot. This will help with long-term feeds. I could put them near the uh, temple if I need to. Yeah, so right now I don't feel like using farm plots because that requires manual labor. Right now, we're good. Oh, there it is. So yeah, it has like kind of like a level up system there. I could just wake this character up right now. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. There we go. So what I'm going to do before we go to the next area, we are going to make four mules. Then we're going to do another sermon, and then we're going to go dungeon diving again. Oh, that reminds... Oh, I don't think we have the other actions yet. Kill in the, in the Dark God's name after you cook everyone a meal. Exactly. Listen, you can't kill on an empty stomach. You need the energy. And then if they're well fed, they taste better when you sacrifice them. Just win-win. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to save. I'm just going to quit out of the game for a second. I want to see if I can force the game to recognize the integration. I'm just going to check one thing and then we'll continue. Let me just check this. The overlay is on. Your rewards are there. I wasn't sure if a minimum number of points needed to be had. I'm going to make sure that's something there. Maybe I have to add more points or something weird. I'll just slightly bump up the price in case it's just being weird with chat. But it should otherwise have permissions. Okay. 
Let's try this setting. Let's relaunch. Make them all so happy, exactly. I'm sure the we unlock sacrifice, they're going to be asking to sacrifice each other. Just how this game goes. Hopefully it'll behave itself. How's everybody doing tonight? What was Diego playing? Oh, I guess that was the dark mode menu. I, I guess people complained about the screen being white by default, by the way, chat. Because normally it's very blinding white. Clock tower rewind? Interesting. I didn't realize that's what it meant by the main menu. I thought it meant this menu when you open it up. Um... I guess I could try being the goat, since that's new content. That is... That is certainly something that I can do. Oh, we have another character. Therefore, says, please spare me. Oh. Well, chat, if you missed out on the raffle, you could be a character that is sickly, but polyamorous, does not get jealous if the lamb has more than one spouse. <laughs> Good to know, I suppose. Let's go into that. <laughs> Dear Lord, oh yeah, the scream was something else. We'll start a raffle in case somebody would like to make their character. As a reminder, you should be able to choose the look of your character. Some clothes, some colors. We're going to be unlocking more stuff as we go through. <laughs> Why does it scream? I have no idea. So we'll give some courtesy seconds since viewers are basically able to enter their character. Ooh, we have two participants. That's always fun. We have a few more seconds. That way we're not rushing people that are not quite ready yet. Yeah, otherwise, we'll, we'll coin toss. I haven't seen the helper hinder yet, but it could just be early in the game. As I said before, it could just be an issue where it's turned off. It's possible the totem doesn't do anything until level two. I'm trying to remember, Chad. If anybody remembers from the last time we played, I remember it also took a little while to unlock. So it could be that we're still in tutorial land, so it's not fully active. Perks says they updated the Twitch integration where you could change up the cultist look from the interface. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, Kirk actually won. Congratulations, Kirk. So yeah, it might just be slightly early. Uh, I'm gonna have you worship. Not a bet for my followers. Then they got sad. Can't have that. Oh, we need to... Oh yeah, that's right. We need to get outhouses at some point. When do we get outhouses? There's the compost. That's the better sleeping quarters. It's the alerts. Oh, okay, okay. Should be tier two then. I'll do this so that way they're happier. You now have enough beds for your followers. Nice. So I'm gonna make one more meal. That way they don't go hungry. And we're gonna move on. <laughs> that one's for you, chat. I'm just gonna randomly press that button as I play. I think peeps one later that gets unlocked, they can play once it is unlocked. We'll find out, maybe. If so, that would be good. Ooh, we got tentacle, which is okay. A dagger. Best play designed for many cuts, low damage, but lightning quick. Dagger is not dash attack friendly, so this is kind of like your normal combo. It, you move really far, but that dash attack is super bad, unfortunately. So we got my least favorite weapon, chat. I like it in some scenarios. This isn't it, though. Hopefully we get a better weapon. Welcome, Pipa. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this might be a one where I... Ooh, we got another necklace. So, followers basically age over time, and they start at a random age when they join. But essentially, they'll last somewhere between, I want to say, 20 and 40 days, depending on their age. And this lets them last twice as long. So, inevitably, followers will die, but there's ways to bring them back. 
Don't worry, chat. No nothing is permitted in this game unless I make it. <laughs> As we learned the hard way with one of the sacrifices we have to do later, which is unfortunate. I guess dash attack on the first slice is okay. But dagger scares me, chat. Dagger is the one where I am 100% convinced I'm gonna get hit. Draw tarot card. Uh, we need to crit. We need damage. Map is fine. I'm planning to do the whole map. We're not looking to speed run it. We're gonna cut down some grass. Maybe get some upgrades. Move on. Flex some bones. We can almost do our first ritual now if I want to. Bones are a very valuable commodity in this game. I like that I can see the fervor gauge over the character's head, so if I'm not paying attention to the top left, I can see it when it fills. It's a good UI change that they have. Man, the lack of one-shots is so scary for me. There we go. A normal combo. Dash cancels. So the dash cancels are slower than just using dagger normally. You don't really get to benefit from the speed rating of the weapon, and instead you just have short range. Nice try, squirrel. We acquired dirt flooring. Quite a decoration, chat. Well, I guess it's ours. Temple roll in here. Hmm. There is an event if I go to the left. I don't really need healing. I don't feel like visiting the fox. Guess I'll go this way for more characters. Poor donkey. Hide up on the, the web. Ooh, get a character for only four gold? He loves says, Yes, you like? I find many of these tasty morsels. Maybe I keep this one. I'm hungry. Well, let's go buy this follower. We saved the dog, yeah. That's an easy follower for people looking to make a character. In the portal you go. We basically need to unlock the ability for our followers to farm, since they need to be able to feed themselves going forward. Show us missile has been used. I guess I'll go this way for another follower. Yeah, get in the bag. Get in the flask, chat. Right at the altar. Possessions now follow you through death. Oh, that's cute. I don't plan on dying. I'll take the flowers, though. It's always nice. I was looking for extra bones. Well, let's go get another follower. Ooh, it's a chicken. Who's speaking? Is it the... Is it the chicken? The worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes of our flesh, but that is the price for safety. For that, we gladly give it all we have. Oh, he attacked while in the loading animation. That sucked. I thought he couldn't do that. My bad. I forgot. This This doesn't play by Hades' rules. <laughs> Hades, they wouldn't let you do that. Game That's frowned upon. That's fine, though. At least now we know. I do like that it slow mo's a little bit with the curves. That is useful if I'm trying to line something up. Yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind. That they they just instantly attack. They don't they don't bother waiting. If I'm within range. I can't just sit there and camp a spell on them. Oh well. Every room is another learning experience. I will gladly take this devotion. We can almost upgrade our cult, actually. 
We should get like basically 24 next time we're back. I have an okay amount of resources collected, but happens. Hello, bosses. So it is true. The red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We need not bother Shamor with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Boop. Mm. At least I can hit them instantly. I guess that's a trade-off. I could try to time my shot to hit them as they spawn to save myself some time. I like to think that by the time we get the ability to uh, do the twitch increase, I imagine maybe it's stockpiling it, so maybe it is counting towards it. Let's see though. Hmm, that's an interesting gimmick when I have Dagger. Dodging the floating head. Um, I'll take Flame Shot too, why not? Recycle the thing for another coin. Like they see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil theme that the four gods have, yeah. I guess the last one is like, think no evil. Uh, that's a boss to the left. Let's go down for more room. Oh, hello. Step forward, beast, from the swirling mist. Wow, <laughs> something died in the corner. The swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you holy. Hmm. You carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. No. Yet what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. Jamsika, kula. Yeah, I did hear that they tried improving some of the lore in the game, so we'll see how much of it changes. So we're just playing through the game fresh to see what is updated. Maybe towards the end we might mess with some of the DLC. See how chat feels about it. The weapon is not without the hand that wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor. To break chains. Hmm, I have some interesting choices. I'm not going to take the spell. It's between the two weapons. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron. Forge in the everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promise liberator. I love that the sword is weaker than the dagger, but I kind of want the range of the sword, then I want the speed of the dagger. I think I'll take this. Forge in a tone of flame, sharpened on the stone, wet with blood. They seek destruction as their nature demands. Can the same be said of yours? Yeah, being able to do this from a distance is more important to me than the weapon speed. Any goodies hidden back here? Not really, it seems. Are they going to try it on stream too? Well, pretty decent. I think every year they improve it just a little bit more. I would say give it a, give it a shot, JJ Persona. Barbados. Oh, did that actually hit me? It's unfortunate if it did. But, like, I waited like a frame too late to hit it. It might have been fervor coming towards me. I keep seeing things flash around me and it's just kind of confusing me. I'm, I don't think I'm getting hit. Maybe just some kind of visual thing is happening. I guess I could very cleanly get a three hit combo there. I 
applying poison speeds this up a little bit. I definitely wish I had the axe or the claw. Claw being my favorite weapon by far. No contest. He should be just he should just be dead next time he do, goes to do something. Oh, I don't have fervor. Never mind. I went to kill him with magic, and I was like, wait, I don't actually have it. Pretty simple fight. And hey, we unlocked another follower for him. There you go. Go into the extra dimension, as it were. Do I want berries or do I want wood? Probably just berries. On another commandment stone, nicely done. Or many ritual in the temple, sure we could do that. There we go, one more to go. Nice and clean. I wonder if this will count towards the no damage. Nice, it did. So I didn't get no damage the whole run, but I got no damage on the boss. So, better than nothing. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chad, who would have thought? The moment I don't have to play with dagger, I don't get hit. Who would have thought? It's almost like I like the range of the weapons. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. Or you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Oh, finally, I think I can interact with our followers. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Interact with followers to read their thoughts as well as see how hungry, tired, or sick they are. Free doctrine. Sure, let's declare it. There we go, chat. Play your new doctrine, which allows you a new follower icon. Maybe this is where the Twitch messages might start popping up. Maybe that's why they weren't talking to me before. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. So eventually we'll be able to praise them, intimidate them, group coerce, etc, etc. And I think we just got our first necklace, so I should be able to keep a follower alive longer. Love all the things waiting for me when I came back. Now let's see what Draculina wants. Peter, if we want to start survive here, we're going to need to start farming some food. Yeah, yeah, I know. I I'm well aware of that. So the reason I want to do that is I could get the farming bundle. So the reason that this is important is I can have the villagers basically auto-task here. So that way while I'm away doing dungeons, I have somebody working the field so that they don't die. Yeah, I definitely want to get the cult upgrade soon if I can. Let's go ahead and get some new people in here. Embermere says, please spare me. And Ramir's stats are... Materialistic, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Terrified of death, lose 5 faith whenever another follower dies. And Natural Skeptic, recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. So kind of a... Kind of a mixed bag, but... Let's go ahead and enter into the raffle for people that would like to hop in. So hopefully we start seeing the follower messages. I do apologize. I'll try to figure out why it's not working in between if I don't see any coming soon. Looks like we have a participant here. We'll give a few more seconds. We have two followers, so I think it's fair not to make somebody wait if somebody's already done. Leader, show us missile. Oh no. Yeah, so hopefully they should start popping up in-game because clearly the integration is working, but I'm sure there's some kind of limitation since we're so early in the game. Okay, let's see who just won. Oh, and Parameter, congratulations. Look how happy in Parameter is. I'm gonna tell him to pop trees for now, I guess. I love how depressed they get whenever I don't have enough beds, and I'm like, listen. We're gonna do two more beds so they stop getting depressed. Uh, 
what else do we need to do? Need a farm at some point. Maybe I'll put it over here. It also has to be, like, not super far from us. I could see myself putting a farm here also. Not, like, the worst idea. I'll put it here. Then around the farm, we need to make sure we get a seed silo. Which I don't have enough wood to do. Alright, so let's cut our own wood for a little bit before the next day begins. Um, is there nothing but the super trees left? Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay, so cleanup did upgrade. So chat was right. It looks like that's a new mechanic. Hmm. That is unfortunate, because we definitely need wood to continue. I'm willing to let more game days pass to do this if needed. Preemptive betting, pretty much. So yeah, I'm not sure why they're not talking. I'll look into it. Because it seems like the Twitch bar is blinking. It could just be, as I said before, we're not far enough in the game. Because I haven't seen, like, a helper hinder yet, either. So something tells me it's just tutorial long. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I like how annoyed. I just see Chris's character talking to somebody. He looks happy. Whoever he's talking to just looks super annoyed. Oh, it's Draculina. <laughs> they're giving him, like, the sarcastic eye roll. I guess I'll read Draculina's mind. Yeah, so I can see they're age 30. Bad chat. Warring must avoid them in the future. Aw. Didn't enjoy talking to Chris. Rip. I'm gonna say, where is Chris? We'll give him a. Oh, can I? I can't gift yet. Or can I? Oh, I can. I can. Here we go. We'll make it up to Chris. <laughs> There you go, Chris. Live twice as long. Oh, interesting. That didn't level you when I did that. I wonder if that's still locked. Alright, so two of us chopping on this should speed it up a little bit. So I just have to make sure before the next day I'm going to talk to him. Any yeah, longer suffering. Something like that. Eventually, Chris will be made to worship. I like how it's like, do a farm plot, and I'm like, listen... I can't. I don't have wood to do the plot. Now I do. The seed silo first, which I could put here. That way I could do it on the way. And then let's actually do the farm plots. Do something like this, maybe. I don't want to use all my coins, but this should be good enough. Good enough. There we go. Chris is coming over to help. As is in Parameter. Well, speaking of which, before we let a new day occur, I'm going to see if Chant wants to make a character. Sorry if somebody's been waiting. They have Oprophiliac, gain 10 faith when falling ill, and polyamorous. So open the raffle for anybody that wants to hop in. Otherwise, I might just make a random character, since it would make sense to just have more people there. I'm going to do a quick look up while we give chat a moment or two, if you'd like to hop in and make a character. I will double check if there is some requirement for contributing to the cult's totem while we're here. If there's anything else chat wants to talk about or has any questions, let me know. Ah, so it seems like there's nobody else looking to make characters, which is fine. We'll be closing it in just a second, assuming nothing else is there. Wasn't seeing anything immediately obvious looking for Contribute to Cult's Totem. Oh, we have a participant.
Okay, let's end the raffle. Oh, Poro is here. Welcome, Poro. Hellhound has been made. That is quite a look for the character. I will tell him to tend to the farm. How do we play? No worries about that. Give me one second. Sorry for the technical difficulty. I want to see if this will fix the thing. Because it seems like the totem itself is not working. I'm just going to put a little copy-paste message to myself real quick. Uh, so, your character will be going on a magical little journey once we unpause the game. And essentially from there, what we'll end up doing is probably have you work the farm, and we'll check in on you from time to time. You might have something for us to do later. Yeah, more NPC followers and stuff like that. Let's see if this works. Service cool. Okay, I'm not sure what's causing that. We'll circle back later. There was a link, but it didn't seem to do anything. Let's build a couple plots so that way Poro will be forced to work. Look at him go. Let's give him seeds to put away. There we go. Poro can start constructing and or feeding everybody. Oh, parameter is a quest. Great leader, when times are tough, we could cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Sure. Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It's time you gave it a name. Oh, hey chat, we get to name the cult finally. What is the name of the cult? So right now it's Cult of the Lamb, but it could be Cult of anything you want. I think we I think we named our cult last time the best, then the best boys. So is there anything chat would like to be known as, henceforth? I will take suggestions. Hmm. The Armageddoners? I'm going to temporarily put that in until we see other choices. Bestest boys? Oh man, that's quite something. There you go, with the Z as well. There you go, bestest boys. Actually, how many letters does this allow for? Oh, okay, that's it. I think Chad is liking the name of it so far. The Goats is the great name. Hmm. gonna say what what is chat feeling the goats or bestest boys Let's see how it looks happy with bestest boys bestest goats oh, that's true does chat want bestest boys or bestest goats how you feeling chat This boys 420? Oh no. I'm sure we could fit something at the end if you really wanted to. Oh, 666. Oh, I like the 666. There you go. We'll do bestest boys 666. It's feeling very culty. Bestest boy 666. That has a nice ring to it. There we go. What are the plants? Plant something manually, if it lets me. That should complete the quest. Up to Draculina, get the reward. Eventually. Get it eventually. Actually, hold on. Before Nightfall hits, I'm gonna make them purposely get up. I'm gonna annoy them. Thurman time. <laughs> You're not allowed to sleep. I didn't allow it. <laughs> Don't mind me. Show us the pig, nice. I would like to get an upgrade to increase the damage of our weapons. That is perfect for the next thing we're about to do. 
Good unlock. I'm gonna need to do a ritual. I don't have enough lumber, though. That's kind of the downside at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I woke everybody up. Yada, yada. We're gonna, we're gonna tell them to deal with it. Oop. There we go. Oh, you did it? Truly, you're without flaw. I'm grateful, great leader. Oh, we have another person in the cult, if anybody wants to make another character, by the way. So we'll open it up. They're a jerk. They like to cause mischief. They lose faith when falling ill. They gain faith when building better sleep recorders. They'll leave it open for a little bit in case there's somebody else that, out there that hasn't made a character. Otherwise, we'll just leave Barbados as is. Ooh, we immediately have somebody hopping in. That's always a good sign. Uh, I was going to say Chris wanted the mischief one. <laughs> it's like, damn, missed my opportunity. We'll, we'll leave it open for a little more in case somebody is still going through the menu. Give them a fair chance. But yeah, I think at this point we have uh, quite a sizable number of characters. I might need to get another bed going. But hopefully with the farm field up, I should be able to make enough meals. So I'll make sure to do a grassy meal, collect more spiders, because I believe we do have something happen if we catch enough spiders. And then we will proceed further. I think that is a fair amount of time to leave open for the raffle. So let's go ahead and close the raffle. Who is the lucky victor? Diego, congratulations. Welcome, Diego. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna have you chop trees, I think, because we are in desperate need of it. And I lost faith because I didn't have enough beds again. Trolled again, chat. Another bed for later. Polyamorous, how on brand? Nice. Hopefully Portal won't have to sacrifice Diego. Well, we'll see what happens. No promises. This game does like killing characters. Uh, Let's do a lot of grassy grolls. Look at Diego just pass out in the middle of the field. I'm going to build his bed at least. There we go. Diego now lives there. He woke up just to fall asleep again. Okay, any other spiders I could catch real quick? There's quite a few of them. So I basically want to wait until daytime because I could just get my servant stuff out of the way. And we'll move on. I'll do this so that way Poro is work in the morning. Oh, their bed's broke and I don't have any wood. Well, I tried. Yeah, they should be on this pretty soon. The parameter should eat now. So we'll get his quest thing out of the way. Yes, it mentioned earlier for the one with the the file. The, I forget what they said. Something file. Uh, if they get sick, they get more faith, so, which is a good thing. Well, not good that they got sick, but more that they get faith. Knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Best completed. Um. Now they're gonna eat. Looking to see if there's anything else I could do. Oh, is there no more wood left? That's annoying. We'll have to do our best here. Okay, so that's why our other people are not doing anything. Since it's a new day, let's restore the faith by using a sermon. Now we have an additional follower. So next time we go on an adventure, we should get a guaranteed level up, which is nice. Opafaya, thank you very faithful and sick. So sadly, it looks like lumber is a big concern, so I think in our next dungeon, we're gonna look to see if we could get some. Um... 
leave our meat there for now. Oh, it won't, wait, it won't let me continue unless I perform a ritual, but I don't have any wood. Uh-oh. Did they not think this through? I don't have wood. That was the thing I was struggling to get earlier. Uh-oh, chat. Are we... I don't think we're softlocked, but I think I'm stuck here. There's no more wood in this area. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, there's one more. Okay, there's one more. Uh-oh, we may be in trouble. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I'm actually stuck. <clears throat> Just one tree. Everything else is chopped down already. I'm assuming this is gonna give us at least 10. <clears throat> but all the little stumps and the big tree on the left side is gone. I mean, the trees will eventually respawn, so it's not like I'm stuck forever. That's a bit unfortunate. This game is so cute who doesn't love serving an eldritch god, pretty much. But unfortunately, I just stay here a lot longer than I intended. So this should give us enough to perform a ritual, then hopefully leave. Poro want to talk to me? I thought he did. Poro ignored me. He's like, listen, doing Poro things. Let me live my life. Alright, let's make them do the bonfire so I can proceed. Especially when it's a cat. Or something like that. Look, just a happy little bonfire. There you go. Faith restored. <laughs> I I love the cutscene interrupted by animation, but the sound still played. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there's so much more you can take from them. Welcome, Ping. Who doesn't like serving an Eldritch God until you become too powerful to your boyfriend? Oh no. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them. You will increase their loyalty to you. Oh, finally, we unlock the loyalty system. I should have waited on the gift earlier. Once they're totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they own. Damn, Poro said you're not worth talking to. Damn. I gotta do better. You're right, Poro. Watch as I show you. You follower, come back in here. Okay, who's it gonna bring in? Here we go. Happiness acquired. Followers loyalty, increase loyalty to level them up. You'll get more devotion. Chum follower levels up, you'll generate additional devotions. Be sure to cultivate loyalty. To increase their loyalty, give a follower a blessing once a day and you interact with them. Also give them gifts. So sadly, I gave them a gift before I could get that. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and, and grow weary. Visit me in my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Sure, we'll visit his house because I need some resources. <laughs> Lonely Shack. There we go. So I should have another location I could go to, which is good. I should just barely be able to get the upgrade here. Here we go. So this should help for longer journeys, so now more devotion can build up in the totem. So maybe that'll unlock the Twitch stat chat stuff? Let's see. upgraded. Oh, there's like a repair mini game now. Interesting. But the condition of the place is not great, so let me clean up after them and then try to go to the next area. I might not be able to dungeon dive because I got stuck here for a bit. A bit unfortunate. Let's take care of this. Fertilizer helps with the fields, but I don't have the thing yet to uh, make them use it, sadly. This is good enough. There's probably like a couple I could get rid of here. As long as I do this, they shouldn't get sick. Do that manually while I'm here. Seeds away, and let's go visit the other area. Go to the Lonely Shack. Now we've unlocked more in the hub world. There should be a totem or something over here. Okay, we unlocked a mouse. No, kind of. I always get confused with some of the animal shapes. Their faces are so weird when their eyes are like on one side of their face. It throws me off. Go grab this. 
The free seeds. Oh, he popped out of there. Like how he's like, I must thank you as we rob him blind. I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you've granted me what I desire most. Peace. I think it is knuckle, uh, knuckle bone time. Now that I've taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. <laughs> I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch, to be sure. But now I am retired. I'm free to enjoy myself. But like, get destroyed by us. We'll take this additional inspiration. I don't have a shell to make an offering here. So before we do the dungeon, is there anything else I could collect here? We got an extra form, so that's always fun. Let's go inside the house. Free money time. Well, there's a small gift, or actually, that's a big gift. You've discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you do not make the same mistakes I did, or you'll end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones. You don't know it, why it's simple. Oh, don't worry, we're, we're good at this game. Step up to the table and I will show you. Yeah, show you how to get wrecked. Our big gift. Your generosity knows no bounds. A gift to raise the loyalty of a follower. Chat loves that sound effect. Oh no, I can verse Twitch chat. We'll, we'll do it once. We'll do it for chat. How to play, your score is calculated by adding all your dice together. Match the dice, multiply the scores. If you put a dice against your opponent, it destroys the opponent one. The goat rolls first. Okay. How does it work with Twitch chat? Oh, they get to vote where to put it? Oh, interesting. Voting in progress. Chat thinking. The collective hive. I think I want this here. Not sure how to vote. I'm not sure either. Chat's making a decision. How come my dice is not destroying their dice? Interesting. Oh no, not a dice game, yeah. That's actually pretty good luck for me. I'll seal that in at 18. Yeah, chat's controlling Radu. Wow, there's 18 people trying to vote. <laughs> Actual insanities. I'm not rolling super great, to be honest. I'm kind of in trouble here. Unless I complete the board, then I might win. Oh, that's actually huge for me. So Chad is actually, I think, locked in to lose. I don't think there's anything they could do here. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha, chat. I forget why the dice didn't get destroyed earlier, but that's fine. Good practice. Yeah, how do you... It said destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs, but I did do that. Oh, unless it, unless when there's two, it only destroys the top one versus the one closest. That was the only thing I didn't remember from last time. That's fine, though. My mind wasn't mining hard enough. Maybe. Oh, you can keep that one there all you want. Listen. Double ones? I don't care about that. Put a five here. He might remove it. I'm gonna risk the left side. Wait, why didn't he complete his column? He cheated evil, something like that. He's getting kind of wrecked right now. There we go. That's what should have happened before. I don't even want to get rid of his ones. He could keep his ones. 
Oh, he should have played five on the left-hand side. Man, he's bad at this game. It's getting kind of embarrassing. Yeah, now you can't remove my six, but I can remove your six. Sure. Doesn't matter anymore. I'm pretty sure I win. As long as you can't... As long as you can't double the sixes. I'm gonna be locked in over here. Should just be over. And let's see doubles here. <laughs> he doubled right at the end. Now that was unlucky, chat. That was unlucky. So sad. I know, I got cheated. I know. I was like, I was like, I had pretty good odds of winning there. I'm like, there's only two numbers he could roll that win, and four make me win. I still lost the the odds, sadly. I know, chat. So sad. So sad. I'll get rid of his three though. That's what he gets. Yeah, the trick to winning is basically when you see an opponent putting down a bad number, you want to try to punish it. So he could punish me by putting a four in the middle, which is brutal. But I can also just kind of punish his rolls in general. You know what? I'm going to duplicate this. This is fine. I'm just going to go for board clear now. That's fine that he did that. This is the Reaper's power. I'm going to get rid of his five. So basically, once an opponent has like a complete column in the middle, I could basically do whatever I want. So because my five is open, oh, that's kind of annoying. Because my five is open. Oh, see, this is a closed column. So I can now funnel all my fives in the middle and basically just win really hard here. So he made a big mistake. I'm going to clear his four just to waste his time. Okay. I'm going to get rid of his two so he's even further behind. If he rolls another three, I was going to say. Um, I think I still win as long as he doesn't do anything super crazy here. Oh, it's over. GG. See, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of his right hand side at all for any reason. So at this point, I could just troll him by doing this. <laughs> so he has to eliminate a dice here or he loses. And he didn't. GG. Yeah, that's how it should have gone. Yeah, that time. Yeah, no, no more, no more lucky roll there. There's the strat. If you ever complete a column first, you did it wrong. Your opponent can basically do whatever they want in that column. So the trick is figuring out if you want to destroy their dice, because sometimes it's better just to leave them with like double ones or triple ones, knowing that that column is completely free. Error card unlocked, gained an extra health. Oh, I don't care about that at all. That was not a good unlock for me. I had a taste of the game. Care to wager? Sure. Oh, I don't have enough coins. Oh, that's awkward. I only have one coin. No Gamba chat. So sad. Um... Hmm. Oh, chat, chat wants a rematch? I could go back. I was fighting chat earlier. I gotta pass time until a new day anyway. And then we have to get another character potentially for ping and such. I love that my activity feed is literally just contribute to Totem. I'm sure it's gonna be something really stupid when that fixes finally. Here you go, chat. put a five down there you go voting in progress so they put a one over there so I probably want to put my high numbers here so ones are the riskiest like even if they double up a one here I don't really care one is, one is definitely the worst number you can roll good idea to split it for sure all oh, the all oh, the yeah, why can't I remove their dice? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, that should... What? Does that not work? Do, can I just not delete your dice? That's kind of funny. So you can delete my dice, but I can't delete yours. That's interesting. That definitely makes it harder. I was going to remove your one. So if chat is smart, they're going to remove my five. If they put it anywhere other than the far left column, they're not doing it right. <laughs> just delete my dice, chat. Don't let me keep that five. I believe in you. Vote on the far left. Make me make me start over. 
Chat's, chat's really thinking about it. It disappeared. Oh no. Voting broke. Okay, we'll we'll exit. Rip. We'll try again. Oh, Twitch chat rolls first. All right, let me see, let me know, chat. Are you able to do this one? All right, the fact that it's like switching between long and top means that I think somebody has access to it. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that, chat. Ooh, I rolled kind of bad. That's not good. Ooh. Yeah, threes are pretty good. They're, they're kind of safe. Ones and twos are terrible. Figuring out where to place them is tricky. There we go. Ooh, doubling up the ones. Interesting. I think if chat goes far left, they remove my two. The chat has to ask themselves, do they really want to remove my two? Oh, they removed my two. That felt spiteful. Um, do something like this. I'll make chat choose. Ooh, they got a six. I'm not gonna make a comment. They can make a good play here, but let's see what they do. Good call, good call. See, my other call is to not put a six there and wait until later. Ooh, that's gonna be devastating to my point total. Yeah, I, th I think chat's. I think chat will win this at this point. I got eliminated super hard. I don't really want to get rid of your ones. Actually, does yeah, I can't eliminate your dice. That's weird that I can't eliminate your dice. Oh, you win by default. I don't think I could come back from this. If I can't eliminate your dice, it's over. So it's actually very different rules than normal. Good job, Twitch chat. We'll do one more. So for some reason, I can't eliminate your dice in this mode. That is interesting. That will change my strategy. Yeah, that means Twitch chat just has a strong advantage over me at all times. It's kind of brutal. So you can remove my dice, but I can't remove yours. Huh. I don't think there's a counter for that for me then. Yeah, I think it's a balancing factor. That's super rough though. Because that means I can't stop chat's combos. But they could stop mine. I deserve to be at a disadvantage. Yeah, it feels like it. Twitch chat is just better. Damn, Coral's right. Welcome, Barkeep. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Brutal. Nothing I could do about this, I think. I say GG to my dice. I was gonna say, if chat rolled another five, I'd be like, seriously? <laughs> like, okay. Give me a little bit of mercy, dice roll, please. Okay, double ones, that's fine. No mercy! No mercy, indeed. I'll take whatever points I can get, honestly. Ooh, chat has an interesting decision to make. Depending on what I roll here, this could be really bad for them. Oh, chat got max punished. Max punish. Ooh, that was such a... Ooh, that was such a good roll. <laughs> max punish. Yeah. Oh, triple ones is good, though. Uh, I'll put a four here. I was gonna say, as long... Oh! The elimination of my points. Rip my points. There we go. The goat wins. Okay, so we're partially through another day. I guess I could go a little further. Let's actually get more followers. I think I can afford- I need more gold, I need more wood. So the best way to do that is to dive a little deeper. 
Oh, that reminds me. I need to actually feed them. Yeah, it's something else. There we go. So we need to collect wood. So if I'm given a choice on the map, I want to go do that. Please don't give me dagger. I beg of you. Anything other than dagger. Finally, let us end this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Um, witness true power. Damn, is there not a single thing for wood on that whole journey? That sucks. Be something good. Ooh, I got axe chat. Yes. That's what I want. Mind blast is okay. Here we go, chat. It begins. We I'm a spinning top. Ah yes, the slow attack speed of axe. Clearly exhibited through dash cancels here. I like that it's like on par with sword when I do that. It's so unfair. Yeah, let's see what we get here. And extra health, chance of negating damage. Uh, let's just get extra health. Oops. The dash cancels are real. Kill them all with the axe, exactly. Making sure I popped everything here. Yeah, that's how strong Axe is. We're just one-touching everything. That's where I want to be in this game. There we go. I love Axe. So fast, too, with the cancels. Oh, that's right. It's not a charge move. It's just a quick AoE. Okay, so I have a get off me button. There we go, nice and simple. Not bad. Ooh, wood is good. Can I get any more wood? Oh, there's a wood path. I don't need another follower, we're guaranteed to get one. I think I need wood plus food. I think that just makes sense because we're a little behind when it comes to harvesting. Love that you can just slap the berry bushes to farm them rather than pick them. But it gets a little finicky sometimes if you dash cancel too quickly. Alright, so I got more food for the future. That's good. Most importantly, I'm about to get wood for the nation. Only done those kind of tech moves with Bloodstain, exactly. Yeah, it reminds me very much of the Soten Dash Cancel, as I was talking about before, where if you're used to doing like triangle square, triangle square, I'm just doing X square, X square on PlayStation. But I love that it leads to advanced tech. Uh, I probably want a normal fight here over health, given that I'm at full health, and this might lead to more resources and upgrades. I'd like a chance at damage multipliers, maybe. Oops. Roller. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a new challenge. It got unplugged. <laughs> I was like, like, hmm. Hopefully that doesn't happen during a boss battle. That would be awkward. Projectile's so slow. Sorry, squirrel. I need your meter. The move did you like in that game is like a jump tech move. Mm, there's a lot of tech in Bloodstain. Maybe one day I'll get around to playing it now that they have a patch out that fixed a lot of their soft lock issues from the last patch. Your persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever. You may think yourself righteous in your service to him. 
But you should not be so trusting of the chained one. Oh well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. Yeah, they all say that. And then I have axe one shots. There we go. Oh yeah, there was a big issue. They released costumes. There was like a uh, store. Yeah, when you went, if you menu too quickly in the store, it would actually cause the game to uh, softlock originally. It was like introduced in their second to latest patch, but I think it should be fixed now. Um, I probably just want raw damage on my swing. Poison's not bad, but it's kind of slow. Reason extinguished, there's but one recourse. That's why I must keep the flames of my forge burning. Let's recycle it. I think raw damage just is better here. Hopefully I can get a crit up or something. Oh, fishing finally unlocked. Fisherman says, Hey, kiddo, keep your eyes off my fishies. There ain't enough for the both of us. The best fishing can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Where is that, you say? Let me show you. Okay, we unlocked another location. That'll be fun to visit later. Pilgrim's Passage unlocked. See, now get out of here. Too bad, I want your fish. More fish to collect, more meat. So all these things might get multiplied if I have a flawless clear. Which probably won't happen, but we can try to believe. I'll probably take like one damage on projectiles by accident. You'd be a great streamer. Thank you, Drew. Bonk. Wanna give me a good upgrade? Oh, probably one flame shot. Cycle the other ability. Look at those dash cancels. Yeah, as a reminder, this is what the normal swings look like if you're wondering what I'm doing. This is your roll. This is when you dash cancel by hitting the roll and the attack at the same time. No more dodge. Or it should be technically dodge roll cancel, but you know what I mean. Brick flooring acquired. Not bad. Because I think that's what led a lot of people to liking different weapons, but honestly, with dash cancel slash dodge roll cancel, mm. all and axe are so strong. Got a blueprint for killing squirrels. Did I unlock a squirrel? I think I did. Oh, another day is about to pass. That's unfortunate. I missed the day of worship. Unfortunate. Uh, all these are the same, but this one just has poison? Okay. Hey, no reason to not do that, then? Did I miss one upgrade, potentially, at the temple? That's unfortunate. There we go. Like, barely not killing them. And if we get that damage card, it's so over. True story, chat. Damage 1.2 runs over. <laughs> that means everything gets one shot, even the big enemies. Except for bosses, of course. I think that's all cleared. But this is a new area that they added in Cult of the Lamb. Anything with rivers did not exist in the base game. It's nice that we still another room like this. <laughs> dagger. I'm not taking dagger. Get out of here. Um. Probably just want to jump the other item, honestly. Pinnacle's okay. Feel like all the references other games Bloodstain has. Mmm. I have been meaning to try it. I've heard some mixed things. I'm not a big fan of the graphics, but it does seem like a lot of updates happened. Maybe opinions will change over time. Ooh, there we go. 
I know for a long time it was infamous on some of the consoles for not loading correctly. But I think that's finally resolved. Maybe. I know the Switch version was uh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> Swinging a little too wildly there. There's like a speed cap that I could get with it. Overhead swing's kind of slow. Yeah, it's like I don't want to go as fast as possible. If I do it as quick as possible, it does it, it kind of does that. Too fast. Sharp drop rate, ooh. Yeah, Chan has seen my luck at collecting things is terrible. So I will probably not go for a completionist run of those games. Never forget Circle of the Moon chat, where I got three cards the entirety of the run. <laughs> Out of like, what was it, 12 on each page? It's pretty bad. Uh, it's pretty bad. Ooh, let's get some more grass. Though I doubt I'll fall this victory, but I think we'll, we should be fine. I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade! Because we were just playing, uh, what was it? Uh, Aria of Sorrow not that long ago, where that was a, a big component of the gameplay. Hello, Leshy. Don't mind us, we're just talking about other games while beating you. Yeah, does the journal tell you drop rate once you have an item drop rate too? Mm. Yeah, I know they upgraded the Aria of Sorrow and similar games to have like a full encyclopedia so you can get an understanding of what you're missing. But man oh man. Oh, I took damage there. That's so sad. Rip flawless victory. I love that it wasn't the boss that hit me. It was just some random enemy because I was looking at the boss. So sad. Oh well, maybe we'll get revenge on this boss eventually. We can rematch the bosses if we want to. I took damage for the random enemy again. It's fine. It's over. Silly random enemies. I would gladly take the heart of a heretic though. I should get at least partial clear, because I, I did have flawless up until that point. You're taking the beating heart of a heretic. Red crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple and unleash the true power of the crown. Not bad. Poor boss. Simple patterns, just... I'm playing it pretty safe by playing far back to avoid taking damage, but I got clipped by the random enemy, sadly. Fired Lushy statue, trophy for killing them. Nice, new decoration. The structure can be built only once. There we go. So maybe in our playthrough we'll actually go rematch them when we have like god powers. Technically I could farm up our uh, faith if I want to, just to do more damage. We have a whole bunch of side quests to do. But more importantly, I finally got some resources here. The 20% because we did beat a bishop. Better than nothing. 60 wood is nice. We need like 40. Leshy fell before you. Like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. It's true. Honestly, Leshy did not hurt us. It was just some random minion. 
Oh my god. What is a shepherd without a flock? Speaking of which, chat, for those waiting to make their own character, we should be getting a recruit soon. Everybody chanting for us. Love we show off a beating heart. They're like, yay, murder! I love murder. Oh no, chat's deciding my fate. Uh-oh. I guess I got far enough to unlock it. Oh boy, what is chat deciding for me? Uh, did chat just plague one of their people? Old wind blows, the dead are near. Hear them whispering. Perform a blood moon ritual so we can see the restless spirits. Uh, you, you doing okay there, Revo Battery? Looking a little dead. Okay, let's see. Lumber yard is huge. We, we need to start building some of these. Let's go with lumber yard first, because I keep running out of wood. Any chance I could slide there in as a wolf? Oh, by all means. I'm not sure if we have it unlocked, because that one's a bit later in the game. But you're more than welcome to make a character. Although I... Oh, that's right. We didn't get a follower, technically. Soon, TM. Uh, let's do... Something so they just chop wood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get it by doing a uh, side quest, but that side quest is quite long. So I'm I'm not sure if it lets you take forms I have to have it unlocked yet. Maybe it does now. Only chat would be able to confirm. Right, I'm going to harvest these manually. So it seems like the Deciding the Fate is unlocked, so that tells me maybe one more cult level up and then the totem will increase. Yeah, I wish it was a bit more clear in the base game itself, what the requirements were. That's fine. Uh, so before we go into the temple, do that, take these. I like remote battery looking all special. Can you rename Narendra when you get him? Oh, um... Whenever you get a character, you can rename them in general. So I should be able to rename them. Do a crown ability first, I think. Let's see what doctrine we can go for. We should finally be able to select one. I don't think I need the... Afterlife is good soon. I think work and worship is better. Let's make them maybe work harder. I always get conf like this one let lets us power up faster, but it falls off. Honestly, maybe just work faster. Try this one. Not like I can't get them both later. <laughs> Declare the doctrine which imbued your followers with the new trait. Trade will be applied to all members of the cult and will now ch change how their faith is affected by events. Now what we can do is... Go... Oh, we can rename the cult at any time. Interesting. Okay, so let's do a crown upgrade. See if the disease hard at the start of every run? Sure. I don't think like I need it, need it, but I might as well just unlock it. It is just free health, I guess. Unlocked a new crown ability. Begin each crusade with the diseased heart. Diseased heart sandwich all enemies in the room when you take a hit. And let's do a sermon real quick. Uh, I would like to summon a weapon or curse, but its level reduced by one only works in the entrance. Oh, that's what the other thing. Uh, I don't really need vampiric yet. Let's go for a reroll, honestly. I'm gonna probably do this on dagger. Because <laughs> I just don't want to play dagger. Skip the animation.
speaking of which, what did I need for the other ritual? I need pumpkins, right? Yeah, I don't have pumpkins yet. So sadly, I can't do the Halloween event thing. That might be Thursday. Yeah, we can see the different categories here. I probably want to get Afterlife soon, because that should allow us to sacrifice, revive people, etc. Then after that, I probably just want sustenance. Or po actually, no, possessions if I want money. I probably want possessions more. Hopefully that levels them. Did not. Like remote battery just moving around. Just totally zombied. Poor remote battery. Can't do anything with him when he's like this. I <laughs> love the sound he makes though. <laughs> that is the sound effect. Rip remote battery. Yeah, can I even do anything with curse? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what that is. That's new. There we go. I was looking for this. I forget what I, what I do with this skull. I might need to bury it. It's important that I find this later, so I'm gonna put this, like, here so I can find it. Or just needs a rest, sleep it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bury it in a grave. Pretty sure it's how it works. We'll get a spider companion. I don't know how to fix the parameter though, since that's new. I'm gonna wait a little- actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to a new area while we wait. For the day to happen, and let's go to the fishing area. Get a little more plot out of the way. mining. I will gladly steal their food. So I think we have enough food for now for a couple days in case I do something more crazy. But I'll take what I can here. This is just free seeds for later. Ideally, we'll have enough, like, wood and lumber camps, so that way I can just mass build every time I come back. Let's come in here. That's a voice. Why? Who dares enter our secret house of light? Apologies. It's just that the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship, and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. Perfect mayhem! Welcome, Chris Grim. Hope you're doing well. Or as the word of the famous lighthouse keeper says, blah, 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 blah. No ships mean no new pilgrims to walk to this or to walk the sacred path. <laughs> if only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We've not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. <laughs> hope see you around, Ping. Hope you get some rest. Sorry we didn't have a character for you to play as since we are uh, kind of in between stages. Begged her not to let go. We all know of the teeth in the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light! Ooh, let's, let's add fuel. Advance the side quest a little bit. Oh, our prayers have been answered! Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. Light shouts Chris Grimm, exactly. <laughs> for restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. He says to the goat. <laughs> we will pray to you in your great light on this shrine. Please, bathe in our adoration. Sure. I mean, that puts me closer to an upgrade, I guess. Like you can see the thing lighting up. Um. 
guide us, mighty lamb. So we can't do anything yet with the pier because it's not nighttime. We'll talk to the fish. Image species us, fight them all exactly. Well, look what the tr oh, excuse me. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm gonna fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. Up. Get a fish real quick. Don't mind me. We got crab chat. Mm, not so useless after all. His mouth is on his head. Yeah, it's something else. You like the, the fake nose mustache? <laughs> Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, or a fisher man like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived. I've been trying for years. You could snag them. These treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Well, one out of four. Chris Grimm says I have questions. He's a fish in disguise. Something like that. Take this. It's a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. We got another card. Is it just for more fish on bounties? Yeah, that one's kind of... Not great, honestly. I only care about damage. Later on, that one, that card's okay. Uh, so we have something to do here. Oh, great leader in light. What do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often while walking by the sea. And though they're half drowned or buried in the sand, they do not tear or... or I was going to say, yeah, warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 coins each. Interested? Um, not really. Yeah, 20% 20, 20 more damage during the day is interesting. I had a lover once who went to sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They have no place with me. Please buy them. They bring only sadness now. Well, you and your sadness are going to have to go by yourselves for a little bit. I'm going to go to the shack first. Hold on, Chad. We need we need to make some quick money. Come here, Rato. He's enough fish fan single. I'm asking for a friend, obviously. I think so. Okay, Chad. Time for a quick game of Knucklebone before we play the plot. Ooh, he rolled a five. I want to go no to that five. No, thank you. He rolled a four. I want to put a four there. Oh, I got a one. I'll put this over here. Okay. Ooh. Now my sixes and fives are in two different columns. I'm going to make him choose. Be nice to Rado or I, or I riot. Uh, I don't like putting that number over there, but I don't want to eliminate his... Wow, he put a five over there. What an idiot. I mean, he could have eliminated me there. Now if I get another five, it's GG at this point. Okay, he just made me get more points. Don't roll a six. Please don't roll a six. Take a five. Um... Get rid of his points. I think Chad can agree. This is getting a little embarrassing for him. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. Big yikes, chat. Took my sixes, though, which is kind of annoying. But that's fine. There's nothing he can really do to come back at this point. I'm done next turn unless he eliminates a dice. GG. Brutal. 66 to 25. Take my coins. It seems fortune is not on my side. No matter, you played well. Quick little robbery, don't mind me. Ooh, I gotta level up. That's actually huge. Be nice, Serato. Oops, that's not the right place. That was silly. Okay, so let's get more followers. I think I have enough room for more beds. Because otherwise, every time I make some... Oh no, Twitch chat's deciding my fate. That's not good. Um, don't need any of these upgrades. Shelter's not bad. 
Oh, I don't have stone mine. I should get that first, actually. Okay. For the mines. The chat yearns for the mines. Oh boy, what is chat doing to me? Res ritual cooldown is reset? Oh, that's nice. Sadly, I think there's only one ritual on cooldown. But I'll take it. The chat is very divided. Help for smite, apparently. Uh, give a blessing. Oh, I can hide if they have a necklace. That's interesting. I think I need a follower to level up. Oh, somebody wants a quest. Leader, rumor has it JJ Fursona is a spy sent by the enemy cult to undermine your great power. Go speak to them and see what they have to say for themselves. Oh no, JJ Fursona betrayed us. Um, where? Where's JJ Persona? I see Diego working here. I guess I'll praise Diego. I can apparently bully him for some reason. I don't remember that being an option before. Uh, I'm JJ. Hello, leader. What a beautiful day in paradise. I did say you look extra glorious today. Remote battery. What did they do to you? <laughs> That's like, jeez. I just hear, like, the death noise when I go by. Well, obviously, they're hiding something. You must believe me, leader. Can I praise you and get you to level two? There we go. Rank two achieved. I just need to give a gift. I feel like gifting a poor remote battery. That, no, I can't even gift him. Damn. We'll get Poro. I gotta pet the dog. Poro's a good boy. And let's just do a gift. Look how excited he is. Got a golden lamb. Cutting me will not spare you from your demise. Damn. Vengeful Poro is here. Yeah, generally speaking, I'm gonna try to at least bless them if I can. Let's talk to JJ Persona and bless him. Improving their levels. Oh, there we go. It automatically blesses nearby people. That was an upgrade from the base game. He's just making all sorts of noises. Holy. Let's get another stone work going. I don't have enough stone. That's awkward. Get another uh, lumber yard, though. Downside to that. The question What rituals do we have unlocked? Blood Moon, which I can't do yet. Bonfire, don't care about that. I don't think I unlocked another Doctrine. Yeah, we're a little short. Alright, let's do a sermon then. So I didn't reward you with level 2. You did not, I'm not earned your favor. Damn. Truth. Almost enough to rank up again. If I had blessed earlier, I think we could have done it. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, meter bill. Oh no, Chris got eaten by remote battery? No. Oh, I can't deal with him. Wow. Rip Chris. Jeez. Chat trolled me. I don't know how to deal with that, to be honest with you. I might have to get sacrifice. Oh man, that was brutal. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to learn sacrifice. I think that's the only way to kill a zombie is to sacrifice them to the gods. All right, so let's see. There's a new character here. Oh, you have so many mouths to feed. You must need some seeds. Cult leader's always good for business. So many hungry followers with growling tummies. I'll just set up here, and if you need of crops, you know where I am. You don't mind, do you? 
I could go back to the seed shop if I want to. I have seven people to open the door. We're now down a... I was gonna say, do I, am I gonna fail the minimum followers? I got really close. That actually really sucks, because Rubo Battery doesn't count towards the total either, I'm seeing. Um... Hmm... We are gonna have to very quickly get the Sacrifice a Follower, where I think we're in big trouble. Oh, at least I got Claw. Never leave me Claw. Entering the lands of Bishop Hecate. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Uh, when you die, I think you just got consumed completely, so we might have lost it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think chat has uh, put a timer on my run, potentially. It looks like there are ways to deal with it, but I'm so early in the game, I just literally can't do anything. I have to give chat an idea. I need to get all the way to healing bay. That's like three entire temple upgrades before I could get there. That is really far for me. That's kind of rough. So I think it's going to go on a killing spree. Unless I permanently imprison them, maybe I do have to go prison route to save the village. I think because I apparently can't sacrifice them either. I'm glad I looked that up ahead of time. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Uh, T double help with healing, damage everything on screen when hit. Sure, we'll get another disease heart. Here we go. The broken claw animation. I love how far- stop talking to that. I love how far away it hits on that third hit. Still busted. Fall oh, level 3 is so good. We're getting a lot of snail shells, which I can use to go to certain shrines. We saw one early at Rado's place, but each uh, optional location has one. Oh, they nerfed the claw hit. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, it's not as broken as it was on release. It used to be able to... Let me see if I could get a visual for chat. So see where I am? Look how far away I was when I struck with the claw. It, it like, is still, like, a little broken, but it's not as broken as it used to be. I know, so sad. Nerf for claws. That hitbox makes no sense, chat, I'm telling you. Don't even try to comprehend it. Still a good weapon though. I just gotta go slower to make up for the fact that it doesn't hit the way it used to. Oh, bumped into him. There we go. There's the broken animation. So I'm gonna get another necklace. Unless I unlock the kill command, I might be able to kill them versus sacrifice? I'm not sure. Again, that's a brand new mechanic that was not in the game when I used to play. That's why I'm a little unsure. That exniveling vile puppets of the Red Crown, you failed the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word. Do not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that, your loyal followers must suffer. They shall starve. Oh, poor Diego. Where am I, leader? Poor Diego. I gotta go back and feed him. Or he's gonna die. Brutal start to the run so far. Let's go forward. Uh, Let's see what we get here. I might need more followers. Must hunger mulch thee. 
have this one on the house. Oh, 100% free. Well, that's good. Thank you. We need a character after losing one to the zombies. Because that is really rough. I'm going to see if I can put them in prison. Because I might just put remote battery there until we can cure them. Because he might also just starve to death over time, which I'm kind of hoping for. So sorry, remote battery. At some point, we can hopefully cure your character. But sadly, that won't be for quite a while. There we go. There's the broken animation. Yeah, they, they made it not hit as high vertically. Before, it used to... Like, if I did it before, I would hit this rock from where I'm standing. It used to have, like, completely absurd hitboxes. So it's a bit more fair. I'm not sure if I prefer Claw or Axe now. I'll think about it. At least I have to line up a little more. Get some of these. Oh, it's the toss weapon. Uh, I don't like that one. Too weak. Jago's not long for this world. Hopefully we can save him. I just gotta go kind of fast. Unfortunately, well, it's very good at going fast. There we go. Look at me loop that animation, chat. Look at that cancel. Uh, I'll take literally anything other than the spell I'm using currently. Yeah, the Icker Throne. Least favorite spell in the game, for sure. I even like Basic Shot better than that. Uh, Bane Gauntlet? Absolutely. Although, Tempest Gauntlet's still pretty good. You know what? I'll leave it like that. Because it does power up the third hit, which means that this does more damage than normal. Which is exactly what you want to do, because this is just your third hit over and over. So it does a little less damage than normal, but then the main hit does more damage. With our dash cancel, or dodge cancel, I mean. Oh, it took damage. Unfortunate. I mean, you can see how far away I'm hitting him. It's just more of a question if I need to dodge. There we go. To be over now. Okay, we'll get another follower. I'm gonna see what I can do to unlock the prison. Gold nuggets, pumpkin seeds. I want pumpkin seeds. Alright, let's see if we can try to salvage our cult before things get worse. If there's anybody that wants to make another character, we should get another chance soon. Yeah, sadly I took damage in the boss area, so no bonuses here. You see me here in chains, reduced to nothing, but it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of, your, each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop. And you break the chain. Break all four and I will be freed. I gave you life a new vessel. And now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. <laughs> to defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Okay. That would be nice. That means we can rematch on the first boss if we want to. 
So if we could kill his little extra minions in one hit, that makes a big difference. If I want to go for the no damage achievement. Chance deciding my fate, apparently. I better cook while I can. My faith is looking super terrible. I'm gonna cook and then we're gonna go get new followers. Before that happens, I'm gonna build a bed. Whatever Chad is doing, I'm gonna pause him real quick. We're gonna do a whole bunch of beds. I should be good now. Alright, so let's see if I can do prison. Hopefully I can imprison the zombie. I've never had to use this before, so I, we're going to unknown territory. I also kind of want to make them a demonic. Oh yeah, if I maybe if I make them a demon through demon summoning, I can stall. Otherwise, chat, I need to get up to here. So I'm I'm like not close to getting the thing that will cure them. The followers have been cured thanks to Twitch chat. Does that unzombie people? There's a remote. I don't see him. No, I didn't cure him. Oh, I can't jail him. Oh, I haven't bit the jail yet. Maybe I could jail him that way. Hmm. Or with there. Oh, so close. Let's praise Poro. I'm gonna get some upgrades before I do the sermon. And then we'll do. Because them being ranked two might result in me getting an upgrade. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get another character in here. For my level two, be thankful. This character has strong constitution, heals faster. Night owl sleeps during the day and works at night. Interesting. Hot tempered, may start a fight with other followers. Well, I'm gonna give Chad a chance in case they'd like to make a character. They can reroll the species, as I mentioned before. We'll see if there's anybody out there, otherwise, we will have hopefully another way to get a little more wood to make our prison to see if we can hold a zombie. This will be interesting to figure out in real time. We did start getting pumpkin seeds, which is huge, because maybe if we do the Blood Moon ritual, that'll fix some things. Maybe. But right now I'm I'm too early in the game. But maybe in a couple dungeon floors we'll be fine. So we'll give chat another 15 or 20 seconds. If not, I'll just create a random character. We might play spin the wheel. We we as a tr group chat collective can decide to call somebody. I think in honor of remote battery, we will make re remote battery the second. <laughs> this remote battery's character got absolutely hosed. We'll wait just a little longer. If there's no participants, which is fine, we'll go ahead and make another character. Okay, I think that's been long enough. Oh, battery second. You know what? I think that's like literally remote battery's character. I think remote battery will be fine with that. <laughs> Good enough. We brought him back. Hmm. So before it becomes nighttime, we need to pray. Get a doctrine going. Uh, afterlife for sure. Uh... All cult members will gain a belief in sacrifice. Faith will another cult member sacrifice. Belief in afterlife. All cult members will gain belief. Lose five faith when the follower dies instead of 20. Um... 
weirdly here, I think belief in afterlife is just better because people are now more likely to die versus being sacrificed. I think this is actually better for us. We might go for both eventually. Because eventually we're gonna have people that die of old age. Because I don't need a ton of sacrifices early. Later in the game, I might flip my position on that, but for now, I think that's fine. Get an upgrade here. Uh, I don't really care about Vampiric. It's gonna force me to take something. I guess I'll take this. I mostly just wanna unlock another upgrade here. Next time we worship, we should level again, since we got 12. And hopefully, we'll be able to build the prison and put away the zombie. Oh, really? It became nighttime while I was in there? That actually sucks. There's nothing I could do about that. Okay, who is the quest? Mo Battery the second. Voice leader, I have a craving. You need to eat a meal made from a follower. Wow, that made a that made a very dramatic turn, by the way, chat. Um, except. Can I kill anybody right now? No, I can't right, unless I sacrifice. Let's see if it lets me do it. Oh, it's just a good sacrifice. Remote battery. Uh, he needs to go. Be real with you, Chad. He needs to go, like, ASAP. I'm sorry. Oh. So to no one surprise, the wiki lied to me. Sorry, remote battery. Try to fix our faith a little. Yeah, it's unfortunate we didn't get the sacrifice until later. Yeah, I wonder if he will be cursed. <laughs> yeah, their faith tanks super hard. Mostly because they keep waking them up that our faith is so low. Okay, so I have enough to make Mint's follower meet. Well, oh, Battery the second. Well, oh, Battery eating himself. Feels appropriate, I guess. Hmm. We have two we have two working stations for wood and we're still out of it somehow. It's kinda crazy. Right, so we did unlock something new here. Let's go ahead and get a uh, missionary done. I guess I could have sent the other one on a mission to die if I really wanted to. Small increases here could be good. Praise be to Poro. What was that other necklace that we got, by the way? Increased loyalty? Sure, we'll give it to Poro. Look how happy he is. He's been bestowed gifts. Oh. Diego robbed me? He took 12 of my coins. Wow. I'm gonna bully him. He apparently likes it. <laughs> Whatever that means. I that is a new trait. I don't ever remember them stealing coins from me. The loyalty is a lie. Hmm. So what I could do is how do I cancel this? I could do that, okay. Let's do basic grass.
That way they don't accidentally eat the thing that I want them to. And then let's actually eat them in speed follower. I did sacrifice somebody. Where is the remote battery the second? Correct. Eat. It's me. There we go. I swear, if somebody else eats it, I'm gonna be so tilted. <laughs> we put up a decoy wall and everything. There you go. Remote battery one has been eaten by remote battery two. I guess it was the way it was meant to be. And then he felt sick. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. There we go. This will bless him. Feed him himself how wonderful, exactly. But that's good. We now have more rank two people and more commandments. And we're probably gonna do stuff with the afterlife so we could bring back the dead party members, hopefully. The other thing I wanna unlock very soon is outhouse. I wanna know where that is in the skill tree. We're gonna clean this up and then we're going to hop on over to some other areas. But at least they seem to be. Yeah, the faith is gonna plummet real quick, which is fine. Yeah, I really gotta get, gotta get them to auto harvest this stuff a little more. I'm gonna make some pumpkin. We have way more than enough seeds, so I might need to. Use, I might just need to make more plots. It's fine. So I don't have to worry about this in the future. Um, we have a lot of coins. That's good. We're gonna need it. Let's have them just making more. Good. I'll tell you to take bed rest. Remote battery is now six. Yeah, we're gonna make sure. There are a lot of people getting sick. What the heck? Oh, because there's like a bunch of stuff over here. That's annoying. I was literally on my way over here. Half half of the half of the crew is now getting sick to their stomachs. Rip. Yeah, this is also why we need an outhouse. They basically just poisoned each other. We're gonna do this and proceed. I think I could do like one or two more levels. Oh, everybody's in bed. Never mind. I'm not gonna get that much from it. I'll still level, but whatever. Two hearts of the faithful. That become tankier. Whatever. Miscalculation. I should have waited to uh, put them to sleep until later. That's fun. At least our faith is somewhat restored. Oh, poor remote battery. Remote battery also just getting ready to go to sleep there. Okay, so what do we do? I think. Try to progress. Half of our place is ultra sick. Yes, I can smell tasty critters near. Mm. I stays here. There's enough for you and enough for me. Don't let your followers run to our way. You never know who might be nearby and hungry. Uh, that costs 50 coins? I don't think so, chat. Listen. If it was like 10 coins, 15, I would do it. 50? Dead. <laughs> She's actually dead. I'm not saving them. Ooh, Vampiric Axe. That's fun. Uh, I'll take Death Sweep. Look at that swing speed, chat. Or I could swing like this. Look how slow that is. We're not doing that. Oh, you. You're, uh, the mushroom people. Please don't follow us. We're simple followers lost in an unfamiliar place. The great Sozo sent us to find more of his beloved Menticide mushrooms. He cares only for mushrooms. His madness grows. But when we arrived, we realized we don't know how to find Menticide mushrooms. And now we're too afraid to return empty-handed. If you were to bring him Menticide mushrooms, he would certainly reward you. You'll find him at Spore Grotto. Well, chat, there's mushroom people that are looking for mushrooms. If only there was something we could do to them. 
Oh, oops, my axe slipped. Oop, my axe slipped. Oop, my axe slipped. Oop, my axe slipped. Oh, Butterfingers chat. Well, look at that. I found that to side mushrooms. Who would have thought? Silly me. I just kept tripping over and over. My axe just happened to swing every time. <laughs> Ant mushroom, something like that. Five points to a pentagram. Portents of doom. Five siblings stood abreast. Five gods in one tomb. Tamora. We do not wish to bother you, but... Tamora, the red crown grows stronger by the day. Already has succeeded where he has failed before. Lest she has been slain. Five becomes four. Becomes three. Becomes two. Becomes one. Becomes nothing. Tomorrow, rest. We will deal with this, won't we, Calamar? Yes, sister, of course, sister. You there, Vessel of the Red Crown? Bow to me or you'll regret it. Uh, refuse. You will bow or I will make you. It's kind of fine with me, honestly. We miss out on another follower, but... More things to kill. He's teasing me with a good time of murder. Shibora passed the counting test. That's also true. Ooh, that was a good guess. I was trying to guess where the shop was. Found the tarot cards. We get a weapon damage increase. Yes, we can. Heck yeah, chat. That's so huge on things like axe. And so, like, not relevant on things like dagger. Which has deciding my fate. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, time to see what is in store for me at some point. Alright, so I'm two shotting them currently. That's not bad. And it means the next room will be much harder. Thank you, Twitch. Okay. That is kind of annoying. A little poison pool, man. I couldn't really tumble towards them. I might even still take damage because that lingers for quite a while. Gotta be careful around that. Another tarot card. Attack speed increase. Oh, negating damage is fun for the no damage challenge. Thank you for sticking around, JJ Persona. Always appreciate it. We'll be continuing this on Thursday for people looking to see how their characters fare. We'll see if we can get remote battery back to life. This, we'll just turn on some Evanescence or something. Get out of here, random enemy. Yeah, we gotta bring Chris back, too. Which we should be able to do if we follow the afterlife. I will definitely say I was not ready to already be down a player. I was thinking we had, like, a whole nother dungeon before I had to worry about that. Almost took damage there, but I rolled out of it. This is such an awkward area. Yeah, that's one less projectile to deal with. That's good. I like that they have little timers to tell me when they're going to attack. That's new. I don't remember that being a thing. In fact, I don't remember these enemies that well, in general. Alright, so we've cleaned house there. We're in night time, so we got to get back before another day occurs. we to make sure to get as many upgrades as we can. I'm doing single strikes here and then tumbling, because I don't really want to move forward while attacking here. Oh, no, nah, that's fine. Take all that for a coin. Hmm. Let's all go up first.
extra heart, huh? That's good. No, I'm gaining health. Ooh. Ooh, please be a good weapon shop upgrade. I'm gonna say, so far I'm gaining health while in the run. That's a good sign. Wow, these items were so disappointing. Big yikes, not a single axe. And not a good claw. Fortunate. Alright, since it seems to be going upwards, let me go down real quick. We're not missing anything here. I like that I could kind of cancel the swing animation, so I don't have to sit through the full attack. I like that there's like different kinds of cancels you can do in the game depending on what you need. Like I like the spam attack, but sometimes it's better to just kind of get a little quick swipe there and then tumble out. Testing how quickly you can dodge roll without uh, eliminating your own attack. Oh, I rolled awkwardly. Well, I still might get the bonus for no damage around the boss. Let's see. Unfortunate. Okay, got another decoration. Let's see what kind of tarot card we're we gonna get. Ooh, free poison. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's gonna be oops all battles due to me refusing to bow. So it's gonna be a long dungeon. JJ Persona is no longer sick. That's good. Bed rest to save them. Guaranteed poison there is kind of huge, which means I don't need to get the poison one. I could just focus on weapons that do Bane. There's an adjective, I think it's called Mighty, that's a lot of fun. I like getting those weapon types over the others. Uh... Alright, let's get another disease heart. Bro guy's no longer sick, remote battery's no longer ill, that's good. Parameter's no longer ill. All we gotta do is clear the area. The poison at least should get me kind of to like two-shot territory. Yeah, like I just touch them and walk away. I think our last thing we'll do today is we'll go to the Spore Grotto. And we'll recap how we think things went. Other than the Nightmare of the Zombies. Did I seriously take damage there after I killed him? That sucks. Unfortunate. Not that it matters, I already took damage here. Um, let's go this way. Lucky you I healed, yeah. Being threatened by Poro. Yeah, a whole bunch of people got sick. I'm assuming because they all went to use the bathroom and then saw the uh, business that other people had done. Oh, well, now that was a sick cancel. And a nice little double hit there. Done. Don't need the health. We're getting a ton of grass, decent amount of bone. Lots of extra bones. We definitely do some sacrifice stuff soon. So if we build up enough relationship with people, we should be able to get Doctrine Stones. And that should hopefully let us revive people soon. Ooh, stronger axe. Chat, absolutely. Absolutely. Now we're at the boss. Well, mini boss. So we're going pretty fast through here, at least. Huh. Let's connect to my controller again. Weird. Got more devotion. So hopefully we can unlock outhouses soon. And then once we do that, we should be stable for a little bit. Those are usually the primary needs. Because then it'll stop people from getting sick whenever they see other people relieving themselves. I guess the best way to put that. 
Wow, that almost guaranteed poison, even though it doesn't pick for a lot, is so useful. Sometimes you just need to guarantee the kill. Sweep. As I said before, I don't usually use curses that often. They're sometimes useful, like if you get slow time down with them, or if you're waiting for like an opening, you just do spells while you're waiting. There are things that improve curse damage significantly, but we don't have those yet. So for now, I just rather focus on the weapon versus a limited resource. Oh. I went to attack, but I, I danced. I dashed out of it, sadly. Too fast. There we go. There's our rhythm. So we're now fighting Elagos, the weird bat thing. Oh, that's right. You can slap these. I just want to avoid the red projectiles. Everything else about this boss is pretty easy. Funny enough, I think this is much easier than the normal enemies. Just because I could do that to them repeatedly. So that was just straight up bullying on that mini boss. Which is the shame I took damage earlier. But yeah, that mini boss just actually got destroyed. Pumpkins or follower form? Uh, sadly, I gotta go for follower form. We unlocked a giraffe. I would like the pumpkins for the ritual, but we might save that for next time. Tons of bones, so I could do more rituals. Okay. I might just wake everybody up. Even though they'll be grumpy at me, just so I could get more meter. That is a lot of bones. And I did take no damage from the boss, so I did get bonus. That's it. Do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favor? When you return to your occult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold, so that you might strengthen the cult. <laughs> but I am not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet fear not. Over time, it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tribute, and you shall be rewarded. Okay, so we're still unlocking mechanics, but hey, made some good progress today. So let's make sure to do like a double sermon real quick. And then we will probably just check out the new area. It's our offering chest. Which has aside my fate. But before we do that, where oh there's outhouse. Alright, so I can finally get to healing bay, which is a bit slow, but I guess I can unlock this to reach it. So that way I can at least get the outhouse next time. Finery is really close. Someone has pooped out something special thanks to Twitch chat. That is a statement you don't see every day. This mess made me sick. If you don't allow me to rest, then surely I'll die. Oh, that's a lot of money. I'm gonna tell you to... We're gonna bless remote battery too. Tell him to go to sleep. <laughs> this one is special! I should be able to do this. I'm fast. This should still count, because it'll go into a new day and I can do it twice. Even if not many people are here, I'll just take it, because it's better than nothing. That way in the morning, I should get it guaranteed. I could have woken them all up manually, but that's fun. Yeah, these are all on cooldown. Let's go... Oops. 
Can we? Not quite. We need one more relationship up to get the doctrine. We should be able to revive people soon. Diego looking so grumpy. I'm assuming nobody in chat wants to make a character, so I might just leave Busi on how they are. Oh, wow, they came with ridiculously good things. Materialistic, strong constitution, and naturally obedient. Let's see if I can randomize them. He actually randomized back to himself. Kind of funny. Let's see. Pretty interesting one. Find a cow or a rat, maybe. Now that is something. On cowboy. There we go. And once a new day begins, I should be able to restore faith because our faith right now is super bad. And that's mostly just due to events, sadly. Um, if there's anything I could really do here. I can finally get another stone mine going, which would be huge. Can I get an upgraded shelter? Because that does restore faith. Should work. I think I can stabilize my faith loss. Look how grumpy they are with me. Hello, JJ Persona. Let's bless you. Again, I love how grumpy they are due to low faith. At least it's starting to go up because they did that. If I get rid of this, we should be good to go and leave this area. But most of my people are sick, which kind of sucks. Faith is okay for now. Let's go ahead and do this. Should restore some faith. But sadly, with all these sick people, I'm not going to get a lot of meter here, so I might not actually level. How unfortunate. But at least faith should be restored. As long as we're not in, like, the red, I think we're fine. One more wood. One more pumpkin seed. Put a lot more berry seeds. Force them to farm by taking this. And I think I can restore a little bit of faith by cooking better meals. Pestilence is upon us is almost gone at least. Which is good. I, I needed to go away so we could finally get some upgrades. Uh I can pet Poro. He now loves us just a little more. Then let's go praise Poro. <laughs> almost at level three, which is actually pretty good. Uh we could, I think we got another necklace, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I want to give Kirk, like, the working one. Maybe I'll give it to JJ for some. So I love you about the same. Damn, Poro calling me out. I know, level 3 denied. Why are they not finishing their huts? It's really bothering me. Just kind of went over here and went, nah. We have all these characters, zero of them are helping build. Like, this is actually kind of wild. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, what are they doing right now? Are they just coming over to eat or something? Now they're complaining with each other. There we go. Parameter helping me, at least. Because this will restore faith, because several of them care about housing upgrades. Yeah. Oh. 
me stop talking to them and actually just assist. There we go. So we're going to move to another area soon. I just want to help with this. That way our faith is mostly stabilized. Hopefully the sickness will go away on the remaining characters. Oh, Poro has a quest for me. Oh no, what is Poro going to ask me to do? Please leader, there are some folks who are starving and have no place to call home. We must let them join our cult. Sure. Look at that, Poro just wants more friends. Social butterfly. Let's make more beds. Make sure we have room for them, or else they'll just get super grumpy at me. Okay, so we have... Ella Ghost from earlier. Who has, again, sacrifice. Hmm. For a turn, so I can overthrow the rule. Maybe you can make a rat. <laughs> Forget how his name is spelled. You say almost rado. It's close enough. Might change the color slightly. enough. Still got more people. Justice for Rado. We're gonna call one of them that. We're gonna, we're gonna make them all rats just for chat. Kill this imposter. One has petable, can be pet, in faith when building sleeping quarters. There we go. Completed. So many characters. So we need more food. Clean this up real quick. Got another character. I'm not gonna like the look of this character. Oh, this character, Redria. Character has snore. Will wake nearby followers with their snoring. Ooh, that's a terrible. That is a terrible trait. Ew. Writes poems instead of working. This character is actually trash. Hot garbage. <laughs> Just quick rename right there. Just. That is actually detrimental to the entire everything. Holy terrible. Uh, we have to get the refinery, sadly. Yeah, that character is getting sacrificed and not being brought back, chat. That's... Making our characters not sleep is really dangerous. I don't really want that in our group. Okay, so if I need to, I can also just have them... Visit a prison and never leave. That's always a classic. Followers are no longer starving. So I did stabilize my fate. In my defense, that was a big comeback. I was at like, what, red? Pure red? Now it's not too bad. Just need to build a little more worship power. It really sucks that Chris died because he had like the super upgrade. So unfortunate and unfair. Oh, let's talk to Poro. You happy, Poro? We got heart coverage in our team. Knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Oh, we get a level three off of that? Nice. Poro, our most level character. Blessed be to Poro. So we almost have remote battery recover from sickness. I might actually just stick around until he recovers. He's almost done. I think it's worth getting the upgrade at this point. Look how Poro is. Hot garbage will be a great sacrifice. Yeah, they're just... I'll assist on the build here. 
you helped a follower. Huh? <laughs> On remote battery, you're so close to recovering that I'll move. If there's anything else I need to do here, I don't think so. At least everybody seems sort of happy, despite the zombie attack murdering Chris on the first day. The hot garbage literally just refuses to help. They're they're actually like li I can't even praise them. They're that bad, Chad. I can't do anything to them. I might have to put them in prison. I'll be real with you. Is that how I deal with them? I just imprison them forever so they don't wake everybody else up. Uh, sadly, it looks like this isn't done. Let's go to the Spore Grotto, and we'll call it a night shortly thereafter. I might let one more game day pass, but basically resolved it. Rare decorations, all found by a great leader, the glorious Sozo. We sell them to raise money for mushrooms. More mushrooms! We must always have more! Not garbage is not killed too, nor riot. Yeah, now I'm kind of regretting not getting the sacrifice, but whatever. Cards, cards. I think crime and punishment lets me murder. So I think I think once we get revive, I'm gonna go to crime and punishment. And if hot garbage is still alive by then, I'm just gonna straight up kill them. I'm pretty sure murder is in crime and punishment, if I remember correctly. Cards? No, I don't need any. Okay, so we had a snail shell. I finally did something there. Blah, 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 go. Greetings, traveler. Me? Why, well, I'm Sozo, of course. Researcher of all things mushrooms. Yes, that makes me a fun guy. <laughs> Just a little joke Sozo likes to tell. Yes, yes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are Sozo's passion. But Sozo needs more. Sozo always needs more. You will collect for Sozo, yes? Yes? Sozo can't trust my followers out there. They lie. They steal. They whisper secrets about Sozo. I just know it! Sozo will do anything. A worship at your altar. Sozo will devote myself to your cause. I'll rip your head off! Mm. Sozo will show you how to use the power of the mushrooms to open the fragile little minds of your followers. But you don't need to use it on Sozo. Oh no, Sozo will follow willingly. As long as you bring Sozo mushrooms, Sozo will do anything. Take the path to Anora and find Sozo mushrooms. You might have seen them before, but now you seek them. They shall be there now. We actually have all the mushrooms due to my genocide earlier. Yes, yes, give Sozo, give Sozo, give Sozo! Excellent, excellent, but not enough. Bring Sozo more, and Sozo will show you how to brainwash those followers of yours. Sozo supposes you want something for your efforts? Of course, Sozo always pays his debts. Take this. There we go. We'll need those for later. We need four of them. Let's go pick up the hidden form. Oh, excuse me, it's a decoration. Small mushroom, Anora. Those big pots, by the way, on the right side of the screen, I can use to get more follower forms, but we're pretty early in the game. I don't want to jump into that right away. Like, I'll, I'll buy one for chat. But I need my gold for immediate upgrades. Towards, like, the end of the next session, we'll get a lot more. Oh, we got a frog. Nice. More amphibian representation. But right now, we're kind of coin-starved. Alright, so what we can do... Let's go to the fishing area. We can fish a couple times, but more importantly... Oh, actually, forms are only 10 gold here. I'll get one here as well. Give chat more options, just in case they're locked. Donkey. Nice. 
That was a classic. Yeah, I like that I can mine here and get extra stones, so I might as well do that while we're waiting. Since we are very, very under-resourced at the moment due to everybody being sick. Oh, Lamb of Light, I beseech you once more for your aid. The lighthouse is in disrepair. We need to replace the crystals that reflect the light out to sea. Would you? Could you? Find such material, material for us? We know not where to look, but should you succeed, we will give you an offering in return. We can't, don't have access to crystals yet. Oh, we can peer into the darkness. There we go. Little lamb all alone. Careful. You never know what looks in the night. And yet, I smell no fear on you. How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I knew your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. About another. Fear not. I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry. Starving. Ravenous. I want a fish. A big fish. And I'll give you something in return. Do you accept? Sure. Clever creature. Take this and look away, won't you? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere, in moments of chance, in the cover of night. There we go. So we're slowly getting closer to another unlock, but I think that super matters for us. Fish like one or two times, and then we'll move on. Yeah, he's going to be demanding more and more things. Right now, that one was pretty easy to do. It was pretty low committal from our side, but... Yeah, we're eventually going to have to sacrifice some people, which is good. I might be able to lure hot garbage to their death, to some extent, later on. The rest in peace hot garbage when it comes to that. There's definitely ways to kill them off. So if I had unlocked that, I might have been able to also deal with the zombie. But we managed to get through. Unfortunately, which has decided my fate. One remote batteries quest complete for sure. Ooh, lots of faith there. Why are they all grumpy? There we go. I should fix some things. Ooh, cowboy almost leveled. A little luckier in your next match of knuckle bones? Oh no. Well, I I can't not do that. The golden fertilizer is kind of interesting. That also didn't exist in the game, so it gives a little more variety here. Yeah, if I can level these people, this is good. Yeah, we'll definitely do knuckle bone. We'll talk to Boro guy. We're getting there. I'd like to get most people at level 2 now if we could. We'll take what we can here. We gave Kirk his blessing. How about JJ Persona? Did not. But some of these characters are like almost level 2. Like almost Rado, I think, can hit level 2 now. Which makes a difference for the sermon. They're getting close. So we're going to do a little bit of passive farming for now. I need to probably have another plot for them to work on. That's the worst idea ever. Do... So expensive with wood. I could do refinery stuff, but it's kind of early. Honestly, I might just put another farm over here. I'll buy some plots of land.
like that. Uh, we're getting low on food choices, which does suck a little bit. That means I can't dilly dally here too long. I need to actually make progress. But I think everything else is looking good. So we'll, we'll end it with the game of knuckle bones once I do a ceremony. Hopefully, oh, there's hot garbage. What are they doing? Good evening, leader. I wrote a poem. I wanted you to hear it. Follower JJ Persona and Cowboy sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Oh, hot garbage. You never disappoint me in how disappointing you are. I think I could do better next time. Wow, that's, that's all they contribute to the entire game. I feel like I'm getting hard trolled. That's just wonderfully terrible. Um. Damn, I wish I did a doctrine. A true asset, yeah, something like that. Let's do a ceremony. Now most people aren't sick and they're leveled up, so I should level up automatically here. Nice. Hot garbage, a disappointment. Uh. Press heavy attack, perform heavy attack. Oh, I want this for sure. Okay, so we unlocked a new move, which is always fun. And we still got a lot of level ups here. So right now I get 18 every or 19 every time we do this. And we're making them more loyal to us. So hopefully I can get a good blessing here. Ah, uh, I think the only person that I think didn't have it. Unfortunate. At least we're slowly generating resources. We have work up, so that should help a bit. Ideally, I'd want to cap this out, but I don't think it'll help that much. Hmm. Well, this tree was almost finished. Might as well have finished it. Hot garbage is something else, chat. I, I kind of want to imprison hot garbage forever. I get an upgrade I'm looking for, that's fine. Let's go to Knuckle Bones. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, we we could definitely imprison hot garbage right now if we want to. I have enough resources. We should be able to fund the snail thing. Which will unlock some things for us eventually. Let's see. Hello, Rado. I need some coins. So we'll do one last knuckle bones. Maybe we'll end every stream with the knuckle bones against Serato. Ooh, that was a bad roll. Get five, please. Unfortunate. Oh, he split his fives, really? Well then, I'll just get rid of one of his, one of his fives. I have no idea what he's doing, but listen, chat, if he doesn't want to kill my own dice, that's on him. Ooh, this is getting embarrassing for him. Chad, he's so far behind right now. Pray for Rado. Is he even going to eliminate any of my dice? And he should probably put a four in the middle. I win next turn. Unless he kills my five or my fours. GG. Wow, chat, that was one-sided. <laughs> Nothing like getting beaten by nearly three times the score. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> so tired of this rat bullying. Yeah, we're just we're basically coming by and just receiving our funds. Uh is there anything I wanna do? I mean I need to get more food. So at some point I need to go out. I don't think I need to do anything here. Yeah, the bushes didn't regenerate here, sadly. There's the shrine. I was gonna say, I forgot to do the shrine, so I wanna do that before I forget about it. Do we need to unlock two more locations? Then we should be good to go. I believe all it does is unlock the snail form. That's just, that's what the big build up is for, just to get another form. Uh, 
we're so close to getting like an actual important upgrade, yet we're just like slightly too far. One, just a little more. I'm gonna clean this up and hopefully by then we have it. There we go. Uh, I probably want an outhouse. Okay. This should make it a lot easier for me. So that they stop doing terrible things. But we'll see. Oh, does it need- Oh, it needs refined wood? Oh, that's awkward. I have enough stone for that. I'm one stone shy, chat. That is so sad. That is, that is actually sad how close I am, but not able to quite get it. Oh well, we'll fix it. Just like we'll fix hot garbage. Anyway, let's save for now. And have a little bit of a chat about how we think things went. Well, we got some back, so rest in peace, uh, Remote Battery and Chris. We had, we had to put Remote Battery down. But I'm thinking next time we should be able to get Revive. Revive is pretty early on, I'm pretty sure. It's like the second one, I want to say, in the Afterlife one. So hopefully we'll have Chris come back. I was more worried we were going to have old age or other things happen first, but clearly chat was uh, ready for some insanity. Wait, I went to go get the snack. Yeah, we had to put your zombie self down. He, he was killing too many people. So we'll be able to come back. Remote Battery 2 lives on, though. So what we'll end up doing next time is we should be able to clear the next dungeon pretty easily. And then we will hopefully unlock some nice things. Pull level 3 should be kind of nice. Something tells me we deserved it. Damn. Rip Chris. But yeah, we should be able to play around with it. No death in this game is truly permanent. Outside of one thing in the game which is super rude by the way reminder chan we know ahead of time because we played the game before there are going to be certain doors we cannot open unless we kill a follower so we will probably sacrifice some of our lesser love characters at that point so we might build up their uh, loyalty in us to, so that they can perform the ultimate sacrifice but for now chat let's go ahead and say goodbye to youtube so if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.